Oh, you're live? Yeah, I'm going live. <laughs> I'm not even ready. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hi, everybody. I can't hear yet. <laughs> I don't think it went live. Oh, no. Not yet. Not Here, yet. It, it still live? sounds really funky. Yeah. I'm going to make it louder. It's live now. I hear you go, hey, it's live now. And it sounds like. Hey, I'm a Christmas tree. <laughs> I hope that this is good. How cute. Hello, Lisa C. Welcome. Hello, Penny Day. Thank you for getting my head screwed on straight. And Johnny, too. Hi, I'm going to, I can't find my, <laughs> my telephone. I'm going to turn on another iPad. Hello, Deborah Barnes. Hello. I hope that that'll work. Um, give me a second to get on to. I got the heater on behind me. I am for, 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 for freezing. And what do you mean step away from the husband? How did you know? You have mental telepathy. <laughs> hello, hello. And we have Dawn. Okay, sorry about that. My phone locked up and I don't know what else happened. I swear. Hi, Dawn. Something is taking over my phone. There's something in the air. There is. But it's not a good feeling, Carol. <laughs> Any bright idea? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I saw your video. Ooh, I mean, your, 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 your antlers daughter, are falling off. Dawn, with your daughter. She's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she, <laughs> um, we got a lot of, well, she doesn't look her, I said, I know. We always get that with her because she does look like she's only 12. She and, does. Um, yeah, she does. And um, I said, don't you want to put any makeup on or anything before we go on? Because normally she used to be, it's all about makeup. It's all about, and she's like, no. And I'm like, wow. And so I was like, good. That's great because you're beautiful without it, you know. So we went on. and um, But, yeah, she's my only child that's married, and she's my youngest. It couldn't have gone, you know, <laughs> my oldest. <laughs> Uh, but what do you do? You can't do nothing. But just... Susie, stuck? Are you stuck, Susie? No. I don't know if I'm stuck, but I can't hear right. It sounds, it sounds really funny. I'm gonna do something with my um, audio and see if I could redo it. Okay. Hey, Bob the trucker, are you working? Or are you home, <laughs> Johnny? <laughs> He's home. Yeah, she's looking at him. Never been a fan Bob's of the, in the house. Bob's in the house. And we have Robert. Hello, Robert. Welcome, brother. Two Roberts in the chat. Ooh. I need somebody to come keep me warm. But Steve is going to stay in the basement because if he comes up, I'm not going to be able to talk. <laughs> okay. Hello, Lynn. Welcome, everybody. Can you hear me? Uh, hi, yeah. you. Okay. I can hear you. I hear you. All right. It just doesn't sound good for me. But if you hear me, that's all that matters, I suppose. <laughs> These things. Uh -huh. And we have Moon Goddess Treasures. Now I hear you. How can you not hear me? <laughs> now I have I linear you ones. It just, it just started cooking in. That's what happened earlier today. It just, uh, it sounded like staticky, and then it, it clicked in. Well, it's going to be good to, for you to see your sister. Not under these circumstances, but. All right. I miss now what was going on. And your prayers are with us, Judy. 
Yeah, you got that right. Steve, stay in the basement until the auction's over. <laughs> Judy, I wish you well. Yes, we all wish you well, Judy. You are definitely in our thoughts and prayers, especially while you're going through chemo and radiation. Let's pray to God that it shrinks it. I do too. Hi, Hello, Robert. Carolina Lady Maria. Hi, Robert. Hi, Cajun. Hi, Deborah. Hi. Hi, Dawn. <laughs> I didn't hear you before. Hi, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hi, Penny. Hi, Johnny is at 682. 682. We got to get him that other 18 subs. Yes. Everybody, please sub to him. If sub, you can. sub to Johnny. Put your link in there, please, Johnny. We'll get you thousand by Christmas, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, think. A thousand by Christmas. That's going to be some task to do. But Johnny, if anybody can do it, Johnny can do it. Yeah, Johnny would be the one I would think that could do it for sure. I, I have faith in you, Johnny. You can do it. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Thank you. Let's anybody who's not sub to Johnny, please, 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 please sub to him. Get him to 700. Come on. We can do it. <laughs> Johnny has morning shows where he coffee with with Johnny in the morning and he also has cooking shows and he did just did bingo a little while ago. <laughs> Lisa says, ask Santa for subs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now Johnny, have you been a good boy? Because yes, he has. Okay. Well, then. Yep. he's definitely a hard worker. He is. Hello, he Shelly. Shelly, if you have not subbed to Johnny, please do so. We're trying to get him to 700. He needs another 18. So if we can get him that much closer, that much closer, this much closer. <laughs> Yeah, it's really fun playing bingo on Monday, Mondays with him. So if anybody, Isn't it? yeah, and wonderful prizes that he gives away. I tell you, the, a couple of weeks ago, he had those little candies that have the little white dots all over the chocolate. The non pareils Yes, I have been dying for them ever the since he's been showing them. <laughs> huh? The, the, they're called snow caps, right? Snow they're caps. Snow yes. Yeah, oh, I haven't had those in forever. I used to I buy know. them at the movies. Forever. I, I saw them and I was drooling. <laughs> of course, it's not like I don't have things from... Where, Johnny? Ollie's. <laughs> that much... Is that... Oh. Is Ollie's a New England store? Uh, I don't know. They've got one in Florida. Oh, oh. I, there's not one over here in New Jersey at all. I might have seen one somewhere else. It, it seems familiar to me, but not, near, not where I live. You. I get them at Family Dollar. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I probably have to go to Family Dollar because there's a few other things that I need for our um, kits that we're doing for 100 homes in Smith Hill, Providence and 50 homeless bags <coughs> I would nice. yep and the rest of it i looked on ebay i mean amazon today <coughs> and we're just gonna stay under our three thousand dollar budget by doing all of that we're giving the homeless hat mittens scarves hand sanitizers um 
snacks, like crispy, rice crispy treats and granola bars and mints and yep. Dollar Tree. Yeah, I go to Dollar Tree more often. Um, but yeah, we're putting together a hundred uh, bags, household bags with bleach and uh, antiseptic wipes and uh, cleaner, the um, the 99% cleaner and whole lots of stuff. Paper towels, toilet paper, just to help him get, help people get through this awful times. So, okay, who's going first? Susan? Totally up to you guys. I'm cool with whatever. And you want to do three a piece? That's cool with me. You're so cool. Hey, Dawn. I'm so cool. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Susie, where are you? Oh, Susie, what, are you doing? what are we doing? <laughs> we all got to do it. It looks like we're feeling each other up, but just ignore that. <laughs> You know, I you thought of that. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know which way I'm supposed to be touching. We're we're hugging. Oh. Yeah, hugging, hugging. Yeah, we're, we're like hugging and sort of looks like we're feeling things. I don't know. <laughs> Did Bob come up with that? That's I don't know what we're doing. Yes, it is awesome. Um, plus, we have. Um, a group from Providence College that every year they have us pick three families. Do you have my information for auction, Dawn? We used to I don't have your information, uh, but yeah, I can get it from Carol if, if that's yeah. okay. Yeah, I got his number. She's got your number. I got your number, honey. Eight six seven five three. Oh. <laughs> we used to make um, scarves, really, for like the um, women in the shelters, and give yeah, them have, goodie bags. Um, we would they, just cut fleece, and then cut fringe at the end of the fleece. It's so easy. <laughs> what is it? You, if you cut fleece, fleece. Yep. With oh, um, with like make the blanket, and then yep. you you could cut the fringe, and then if you pull the fringe, it it like curly cues at the end and ties, and it's like simple scarves. So if you give it to people in shelters, yep. they have a quick scarf. They That's really awesome. Make. Yeah, next door to us is an office for Sojourner House, which is for domestic violence, um, and they give out a lot of things um, to their their residents and people that are homeless. And um, so we, we have a good collaboration with or networking with um, a lot of agencies that help people. Um, but I feel good about, I felt like Santa Claus yesterday with my little blue sleigh, you know, <laughs> little, it's a Toyota Sienna. <laughs> <laughs> it was chock full of stuff last night. I had a couple of workers today come into the office so that they could help me move it all into the office. And yeah, it makes That's you feel awesome. like but he, PC picks usually two families with kids and then an older person. And they give whatever, ever is on their Chris on the list that the people give us to give to PC. Providence College, they get last wow. year a family with a woman with two boys. They got Xbox, um, um, another game. I don't know whether it's PC or whatever. Plus, they got two bikes, helmets, and bags of clothes and toys. And then the mother got some things. And, you know, they go above and beyond. Yeah. Wow. I need to go to our tent city and give out goodies. That's an awesome idea, Penny. It is, especially during these days. Hello, Susanna. It would be Thank nice to just give out like gloves and masks and hand sanitizers. 
Well, we do. Yeah, we put all of that stuff in a bag. This year, we're going to put it in a, in a like a backpack. Mm -hmm. And they'll have all of that stuff for them. Oh, even in a, this year, we're giving them a Mylar blanket. Oh, good. That's good. Awesome. Warm. Yep. We ordered, I just ordered 50 of them online for really good. Amazon. Yep. Yeah, because I was thinking even like a tarp is, is like probably... Like we used to give the women ear, like I, I would teach a class on how to make jewelry and then we would give the jewelry to the shelter. But I mean, we would give it to them on holidays. So they would have a little gifts and they, so they oh. wouldn't feel left out. And it, I think it's, it's a good thing. It's and I nice. think more of us ought to think about not only our families and ourselves, but to the people who are less fortunate. Thank you, Deborah. Okay. I think they're not here to hear hear my mouth go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and Now I can hear too. So that's cool. <laughs> Are you ready, Susie Q? I'm all, I'm ready. I'm ready. I can start. Okay, Let's you're up. Then. All right. And thank you both for being here tonight. That's my pleasure. Yes, I'm happy to be here. Yay. We're going to have it a monumental night. Oh, good. As, all right, I'm gonna show three, three pin, three pins. These are. It's gonna be a choice of starting at three dollars. This first one is a heart with a sewing machine. So if you love sewing, or if you know someone that loves sewing, it's it's a pin. Three dollar start choice. Sorry. This one is a little, this one is um, an antique. This was a modeled after a toy from 1910. And we have Cajun roots in for three. And then this one is, I think you can hang your glasses on it because it I has that little ring. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Singer featherweight. Yeah. <laughs> so you have that pin and what other pin? I have these three. It's e it's it's a uh, choice a starting of three dollar bid it's you have a toy sewing machine robert you, seems to think it might be for charms to hang from the sewing machine instead of your glasses oh well it could be you could put whatever yeah. you want yeah absolutely yeah pretty cool he's so smart yes he is <laughs> I, I have two of that one. Oh, wait, I have another one. I have another one. This one is, what is So it? you have four charms. I mean, four yeah. pins. I don't have my, this one says, ooh, it, it's way older. 1871. This one was 1871 to 19... Oh, one. Okay. We have one sewer interested. <laughs> I have an old sewing machine in here. That's from the turn of two centuries ago, I think. It was not, um, it was foot powered, and my grandfather, who passed away in 1964, electrified it. I don't <laughs> use it. <laughs> sad. Oh, you like my tin house? Thanks. I I tried to like do some Christmas decorations. And I pulled down my 
<laughs> we have Deborah Barnes in at four. I we have down. Johnny. Johnny's in. What? Well, Johnny's in at five. Ooh. That's exciting for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah or anyone else like to come in for six? I'm going to show more. You have a lot of these sewing pins, huh? I do. I have, I think I have one more in my dish, but I think it's a copy of the toy one. That's awesome, Johnny. I, I'd like to learn how to quilt. Here it is. I really would. He has got these. It's a copy. Of it. hot, I have the toy one. Hot or cold uh, place, like you put your bowl in the microwave. Oh, and the bowl cozies. Yes. Yes. I love yep. What a great idea. Whoever came up with that is genius. So, yeah, there's, there's. All right. So five we have sewing five, machine pins. Five sewing machine pins, and we have Johnny in at five, and we here see no other bids because Deborah is out. We're gonna go once, go twice, final fall. I'm so excited. See, that's true. When you buy from a, a, like somebody who has a small business or sells online, they get happy when you buy from them. So that's something that doesn't happen at Macy's. <laughs> which which one or ones would you like, Johnny? Yes, Johnny. He says yes. Hello, Sandy Brown. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Sandy. Which ones are ones, Johnny, would you like? You Do you want to number them? Um, okay. Susie? All right. This will be one. This will be two. Ooh. Two. So one for the charms will be two. Two. The toy one will be three, and I have two of those. I want and then the all other of one. the different ones you have. So not the doubles, but okay. So he wants four of them. Oh wait, he wants he wants one, two. Three and four, because the fifth one was a duplicate, I believe. Right? The th all right, I, I think I put the third one as the one with the, dip the duplicate. Yes. The third one is the duplicate. Okay. So, so we want, want just the, con the different one. No problem. The ones that are not duplicates. Yep. And does, um, does anybody else want that last one? Is it upside down? It's this way. Those are cute. Does anybody want this one? We have this one left. Oh, Deborah wants it. So, okay. all five. Cha ching Thank you. Deborah, send me your information, please. And Con Johnny, too. Congratulations. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, I always feel like I'm done, but that was the first thing. No. Hello, cousin, cousin. And non-cousins. <laughs> so you have something else. All right. So they, they were five. Am I correct? That's what they were. We got them up to five. I just want to write it down for it. Yes, I do. I do have something else. Okay. Um, all right. All right. All 
I'm I have this diamond necklace. It's It feels cold, so I'm not sh I'm not 100% sure what sort of what sort of stone is in it. But I'm going to start this at $2. If anybody's interested in a statement kind of necklace, it's marked NY. Start this at $2. Okay, let's see. Hi. Oh, hello. Uh, he's, he's waving. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we have Deborah Barnes in it too. Right. And what did I'm, you What did you say? Susie, I love that sweater. I love the Thank fringe you. and all that on it. I love it because I I used to think it felt like like it was my fake fur, but it was really loops of wool. Very pretty. Hey. Hello, Brendan. So we have Deborah for two. And her and my necklace. It's a statement. Oh, okay. You sent it, Johnny. I was just gonna send it to her. Okay. Is anybody interested? Or are we gonna call it for Deborah? We're gonna call it for Deborah. All right. Only once. Deborah's getting a deal. <laughs> Hello, Virginia. Hi, Virginia. She says hi, Susie's husband, hubby. <laughs> He's my fiance. So someday, someday we will get married. Maybe. I know Jean Lamb. It's about time she came into an auction. Is that your friend? Okay. That well, she's my friend, but she's also my boss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was gonna make it one of these days. Awesome. So, that Carol, you have a nice employee. We like her here. I do. We had a ball shopping at Ollie's yesterday. Okay. For all that stuff I was telling you so about. So let's just, so it's going twice. Let's just going say twice. sold. Final call and sold for $2 to Deborah Barnes. De Deborah Barnes, $2. Necklace. Congratulations, Deborah Barnes. Was that two or? That was my second. Okay. And I'm going to try this again. I know I tried it another day, but let's just see. All right, let's try this one too. Grilled snapper and broccoli and cheese. Oh, that sounds so good, Johnny. Oh, actually, I never tried this one, but since New Year's is coming, this is, um, I don't, oh, it's on the, I am not bending down like I used to. Welcome to our world. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the world. The world of old ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, this is just silver beads on silver wires, but it's silver toned. And it's it's lightweight, but it's pretty. I'm gonna start this one also at I'll start it at two dollars today. Okay. So I'm feeling in a $2 mood. Can oh, can you show it a little closer to the camera? Oh, that's pretty. Do we have a $2 bid on this one? I it's, think this one's actually pretty. It's, it's an different. illusion necklace. Yeah, it's on it it looks like it's on um that like tiger Wire. tail stuff and it has bead stations. Welcome, and Donna. Metal. Hi, Donna. There's Dawn's channel. Thank you for putting your link in. Anybody, please put your links in so that we I can. I think it goes like this. I had it the wrong way. It it has a little more texture on this side, and it's a little more shiny on this side. It can go either way, I guess. Either way. Yep. Does anybody want to come in for two dollars for this beautiful necklace? It would make a great Christmas gift, stocking stuffer. 
I'm not uh, getting old. I am well. You could Zoom New Year's Eve with it on. <laughs> with more experience. <laughs> it goes nicely with my sweater. Oh. So if hey, we Adam. have no bids, have uh, no bids. we're going to pass and go to okay. Dawn. All right. Dawn, you ready, darling? I'll see you. I am ready. I am oh, yeah. ready. There's my hug a bug dawn. <laughs> All righty, guys. I have um, a necklace here for my first piece. This is by Claire's, and uh, we're starting this at two dollars. It's a blue cat's eye bead right there, and it's surrounded by some like uh, uh, baby blue rhinestones. And it's done in the gunmetal um, chain. And right back there, it says Claire's. And it's got about um, three inches on the extender. And we're starting it out at two. Good price. I love that cat's eye in the blue. Mm -hmm. Would anyone like to come in for two and start the bid off? Let's get it an auction. <laughs> Let's make it an auction. Get it while it's hot. <laughs> yeah. It's hot. It's hot. Hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm sitting here thinking, what am I going to auction? All right. We're going to pass on that one. And we are going to go to the second one. Um, the second one. It's going to start out at five. And uh, this one, oh man, it's so beautiful. We have a gold tone chain, and it comes down to the pendant, which is a feather. It's just really, really pretty. It's got a quite long chain on it. I would say about 30 inches total. Um, you've got the back here, you've also got the extension. Uh, there is no cartouche. Nobody claims this, so I have no idea who made it, but I love the chain on this. This is that um, spaced um, ball beaded chain like that. I love it. Starting at five, if anybody's interested. Hi, Donna. Welcome. Just a really nice chain. Even if you didn't like the pendant, you could switch it. So we're going to go on to my third. And uh, my third one, we are going to start out at five as well. And I believe this one is marked. And uh, this one is by Express. Oh, man, this one is such a nice one. This is a multi-chain silver tone necklace. Very classic in style. Uh, you've got, let's see, how many strands here? Four all together. And um, this would be really nice to have to pair with other necklaces. Um, there's the maker's mark. You've got an extension on this one also. It's kind of tangled here. There we go. Uh, once again, I would say about three inches on the extender. Uh, we got Deborah in at five. Thank you, Deborah. Really nice one. Just like I said, classic, classic piece uh, to have, whether you wanted to wear it single or with other, you know, pieces. Somebody's asking how long, how long I is will it? measure it for you. Yep, I will uh, do that. Measure it. Okay, we. Um, it's 18 inches, and then the extender, I guess, was about three inches, and it is. So 18 to 21 inches long total. So it's 18 without the extender, and it goes clear up to 21. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, not this yeah. one, Deb. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's bring the one that Deborah wanted, which is the feather necklace. Uh, this is the one she's bidding on, guys. And then we will go back to the um, other one, okay? So this one, I will measure this one. We're at five with Deborah on the feather. I'm going to measure this one as well, just so that everybody knows how long. Now, this was the really long one. This one is about 26 and a half inches. That's before the extender, which is another three inches. Um, all right, so we can count it down to Deborah. We're going to go once to Deborah. Going twice. Last call. And Deborah, that one is yours. Congratulations. I'm going to mark you down. Awesome. All right. And then uh, for my last piece uh, was this one. This one is by Express for $5. If anybody is interested, isn't it? I did get it, Johnny. Thank you so much. And I, Deborah, I did get your info as well. So thank you both for sending that. So that one is five dollars. If anybody's interested, like I said, this one is eighteen inches, uh, to twenty-one inches. So um, that definitely will accommodate most women's, you know, necks. So that was my three. And if anybody changes their mind on either one of these two, let me know. Okay. And I'm up. Oh, I do it every time. I go to hit <laughs> Okay, I have this beautiful faux pearl and rhinestone necklace, and I'm going to start it off at $2. It has a lobster claw. It could be a choker, or it could dress up any outfit, day or night. <laughs> Cajun says, hello, Steve. Still at my work. <laughs> <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> they do themselves. Oh, they do it on the machine. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> he says, hello, 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 Steve. Hello. Love Hollis is in for two. Thank you, love. Do we have anyone that would like to come in for three? Oh, are you retracting that bid, love? So we have that one. Oh, she retracted the bid. So I'll put it aside. If anybody changes their mind, feel free to give me a yeller. <laughs> All right. I have this beautiful rhinestone cross that's going to knock your socks off. It is all rhinestones. It needs a chain. That's okay. No problem, love. It is all rhinestones. It looks like it has a crown at the top. This is the back of it. There are no markings. I did not test it, but I doubt very much that it's sterling silver. So if anybody is interested in this beautiful cross for $5, feel free to just throw the number in before I pass it and go on to something else.
It has depth to it, but it's not heavy. So I'm going to pass that. And I have, let's see. I have four plush. Two of them are brand new with the tags on them. They're emoji plushes by B BMI. And like last night, I had them all laughing. There's a tag on the BUM. <laughs> <laughs> it's a BMI tag on the BUM. Well, how convenient. I know. <laughs> Where else would they put There's a BMI perfect tag? place for it? <laughs> and then I have this cute light exactly green. I mean, there is no other place. There's no other place. I mean, this one's on its on its hip, but that's okay. It's not a BMI. It's a Nanco. And then I have this cute little yellow dog, maybe. Oh, <laughs> all four of them for six dollars. And this one is just so soft and cuddly. Don't you want to go to a good home? Huh? Do you think there's a little kid out there that would love to give you hugs and kisses? Oh, no. Hmm. They're going to throw a net over me. I'm talking to the animals. <laughs> Who is that doctor that talked to the animals? Doolittle. Oh, Dr. Doolittle? Yeah. 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 Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lot of little. <laughs> So I have these two brand new with the tags and these two, if anyone is interested, I'm going to pass them. And then I have, these panels of Victorian. I know I've showed them before. Uh, I don't remember what I had them at before. Oh, I'm going to say five. There are two stockings. They're elegant traditions. And there's two stockings on each. It gives you the instructions. And you can add embellishments on them. Doll them up after you've sewn them and put batting in them and a backing. But they would make adorable stockings for a Victorian Christmas tree. So, and I have four panels. Was that your three or is this your fourth? I don't know, Johnny. Somebody's got to keep track of me. <laughs> What was it? I did the, I He's did saying the, it's your fourth. I did the necklace. I did the the stuffed animals. And then I did this. This is my three. Right? No? <laughs> Real me in. Come on. It, it's your channel. You could do four. It's my channel and I'll try to do it if I want to. Oh, you're right. And I did this. You're right, Johnny. I did do four. <laughs> and Love Hollis will take the cross for five. Thank you, Love Hollis. <laughs> See, we need to keep an eye on Carol. Yeah, you know, you're right, Johnny. <laughs> I'm, that is a statement. This was your fourth. Yes. You know, you guys have got to keep me. I did the crossing right, Robert. But I sold it for $5. <laughs> so you're right. It's all Susie's. Oh, good. I'm glad everything was good, Maria. I do my best to try to make sure everything gets there in one shape. But thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in one shape? That wasn't the right way to say it. You'd think that I had a drink tonight. In one shape. <laughs> 
honest, I didn't drink. I worked until four. <laughs> this is a... Um... Sure, Carol. Yeah, really honest, I did. And then I played bingo with, <laughs> with Johnny. You did. I saw you there. Yeah. And you asked me if I was ready. Like, that is oh. pretty. It's an owl on a it's leaf. It's an owl on a leaf necklace. I'm going to start this at $4. $4. And I have. That's an, awesome. And this one, too. Let me break that down. A choice of. Welcome, Kathy. There's double trouble. Hi, Kathy. It's very dainty. It is very dainty. And you wanted starting bit of. I'll start it at four. Let's see four? what happens. Kathy, Maybe somebody likes owls. Kathy's corners in at four. It's a choice of one or the other or both. I actually could do another one and throw it in. So you have three necklaces? I do. I have three owls. We could pick. They're, st they're silver toned. Let's call it toned. Because I did not, you know. There are three different owls. Yeah, three different owl necklaces. Let's let's be owl necklacey time. So who is going to win these necklaces? Who? <laughs> who? 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 With that, they call it the European style charm now. Because uh -huh. it passed around. You can wear it on that like Pandora style closure. Uh huh. And this is just a, I'll call it a lasso because it slips over your head. And this is traditional, the traditional pendant style. Ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. All right, we we have one bid. Somebody we have nibbled. Kathy's in at four. Does anyone have any jewelry with Scottish Terriers? Didn't somebody have one last night? I thought it was Debbie and Max. Yeah, they did. They did, but that's they're not here today. But Debbie and Max had some last night. I don't know if they sold. They they had um they had a black one uh, and a white Scotty. one. Scotty. And they had a Westie, a white one. So we're going to say going once. Going twice. Yes. And final call. And five, four, three, two, one. And yes, and he bought them. <laughs> and you want more? <laughs> Sold to Kathy's Corner for $4. Which one or ones would you like, Kathy? All Five right. Three. Thank you, Kathy. Congratulations, Kathy. You're such a love. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. All right. Now I have to, I will show you I'm more looking stuff. for more to fill your Christmas box. Ah. All right, let me put her name down. I'll have to ask Steve if he's got any. Okay. I'm going to need your info, Kat. All right. I will. Sh should I show something? Well, I'm going to show this. This is, um, this is a lot of chain. I'm going to start this at $5. Wow, that is long. It is very long. I <laughs> Now, I should have had it planned out better. It wasn't tangled a second ago. <laughs> oh, no, it jumped in the box and twisted itself just because. <laughs> wow. Look at how long that thing this is. This is really a lot of chain. It was like, I bought it in a thing that was weighted. And I said, oh my, this is like, 
I bought five pounds of jewelry and I said, this is like the whole bomb. <laughs> so that's a chain that a flapper would and, wear. I was going to say, so this is like $30 worth of jewelry right here, but I'm so get it <laughs> out of there. All right. Well, <laughs> if somebody needs a lot of chain, I, maybe I, any interest in this la 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 of chain for five dollars? A lot of chain. It actually even has a um, it has a chain. It even has a link. I don't even know why you would need it because you would wear it. I was thinking I would put it around the Christmas tree. You could wear that as a belt. Some of you uh, could wrap it around and wear it as a belt. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> But it really does sit like, oh boy, I'm doing a bad job with this one, I think. <laughs> I'm going to blame you for firing me. Here it is. Ta da! Yay! You I could try it Everybody give me a round, a round. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! Thanks. Well, I, you, could, you could double it up, and it's normal. And yeah. you just have like a lot of chains around your neck. See how normal it looks like that? For $5? That's a nice chain. It is. And like I said, it cost me like 15 <laughs> In case you need it to hand longer. I don't know, but you could, you could like, if you ever had to tie somebody, you could tie up a bicycle with this, I think, and lock it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Any interest at all? If not, we're going to pass it. Yeah, we should. I should just keep it on because to fiddle with it at this point, it's, it's like silly. So what else you got? What else do I have? All right. I have something. Okay. I have a wraparound leather bracelet with a bling clasp and... I'll do two dollars for this. It has bling on the clasp, which is a toggle, and it's wrap around leather. It's tied up, so I don't want to untie it like with a one of these like wires. But it's 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 real leather, I believe. You tried to say in case you need to make it longer. Well, no, I I I, I can open it up, but it's. Nice and wrapped. Anybody interested in this bracelet that's all leather? Well, it's leather and then it has metal ends and a nice, it looks uh, like nope. nice brushed silver and then a little bit of bling on the hang charm. Yeah, everybody on light top. Uh, live chat rather than top chat. I'm going to tap it too. And if you can give me the thumbs up. I'll give you a thumbs up. Click that thumbs up and show you love. <laughs> we, we love you. Thank you. I love all of you too. See, it's, it's sort of like Marcusite. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. And they're all there. Awesome. Any interest <laughs> at all? Any interest? Very interesting. For two dollars. Give her a goose. <laughs> Give her a goose. Does anybody want a goose? <laughs> I could look for geese. Instead, I should look for Scott. I don't think I. Ha I think I had a Scotty in something. I'm always looking for, to get goose. I'm hot now, all of a sudden. What is it cinched with? Oh, what Jean, she'll bid two. You like it, Jean? I'll have to give Susie your information. And I'll have to show you how to do PayPal. <laughs> Jean Wayne. Jean's my boss and my friend. And my okay. girlfriend. All right. Okay. 
it, is it cinched with anything? Cinched? Um, no. Oh, no. I mean, I could cut this and show you if you want, but it's just going to be wrapped around and it has a toggle at the end. Nice. Carla said, show the other side of the, the, of the, um, the charm. Not the. It's just like plain. Yeah. Put, put it closer to the charm closer and put your hand behind it on the other side, please. No, the other side. There you go. Uh, uh, uh. Focus. Focus. Doesn't want to focus. I'll show you. Oh, it could be worn as a choker or a necklace or choker. Let me see. Or bracelet. One sec. Have some patience. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, she's cutting the, the thing that had the tag on it. So it's never been worn. You know, I never thought about it, ladies and gentlemen. I never thought about this at all because it was wrapped up. But you're right. It could be. Oh, yeah, as a necklace. Too small to be a belt. Oh, definitely. Not unless you've got a. 18 inch waistline and if you're if you wear this as a belt you're so skinny but you it can happen because lisa c might i was gonna say is she's an extra small yep you could yeah that could be that's enough. pretty long that could work pretty well yeah so lee uh jean is still in for two do we hear any if i knew that this was a necklace i would have been wearing this <laughs> do we do we hear any bids for three we're gonna going once going twice final call. a necklace or a bracelet i guess oh look at this pretty Five, necklace four three two one sold to jean lamb nice i'll give you her information later after the show okay thank you jean now is that two that was two. Okie dokie. All right. I'm going to show. We all know I can't count. <laughs> I'm going to show this. This is an ant. I think this is vintage. Um, these, are these are beautiful. I'm going to ask $15 for this. These are beautiful. Are they mother of pearl? Mother of pearl. Flowers with bling. And these beads are stunning. If you saw them in person, they're so gorgeous. They have that. Um, Johnny says that was your third. Oh, well. It was? Then fine. Go. No. How much for that? 15. 15? Anybody want to get this beautiful mother of pearl necklace for 15? I'm going to start doing a clicker. <laughs> and it has a box clasp. That is vintage. Look at that. And look at this box. Oh, oh, look at this box. I know the little pearl popped up. Look at this. Um, this one. I'll get it. Do you see the little um? Yep. Cutouts on it. Yep. Little... Carol, I changed my mind. I want the pearl necklace for two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours, Love Hollis. Thank you. <laughs> see how we think of things later on. That is pretty. It's really pretty. Does anybody want to come in for $15 for that necklace? I'll make it 14 now because that little bead popped up, but I could put back on. Yeah, that can be put back on. That little bead popped. Brandon, 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 wake up. You have something here you are missing. <laughs> oh, he likes flowers, right? Yes, he does. I got to find a bigger bag. But th th this has that... um. What was I talking about the other day when there's that, um, that, when there's that, 
Is it shimmery? It, it's shimmery. Each bead has that shimmer from the mother of pearl. Are the beads mother of pearls too? Yes. They're all mother of pearl beads. Like from, they have that, um, so, is it called sequency or? Here, I don't know if you can see. They have luster and they have like um, shimmer each bead. Can you see it? No. Oh, faceted, Carla says? They're not faceted, but they have that like, they look like mother of, you know, tiger eye. They have that like. Um, oh, like an iridescence to it? Yeah, they all, they have that like the iridescence from the mother of pearl. Each bead has that in it. it they're so pretty if you saw them in person. The Chatoyants, yeah, they're, they're gorgeous. They're really, like, I, when I opened this up, I was like, oh, I went like, oh. <laughs> Pearl Essence, yeah. Yeah, Chatoyants, eh? Did I see, hello, Paul. Anyway, I just wanted you to see that. No, they're mother of pearl. They came in a definite shell lot that I bought. All right. Now okay. Go. So we're going to go on to Dawn. Okay, Dawn. Hi, guys. All righty. I am going to show a copper bracelet. This one's going to start out at 10. And this one is just beautiful. Uh, we have this copper bracelet. It's a cuff. And it's got three roses on the front. It's kind of, um, I forget the um, what it's called, that cast, when it's uh, burnished like that, uh, that causes the uh, dark cast uh, with the heat treatment. I forget what it's called. But anyway, uh, this is a beautiful copper cuff. It does say copper right on the inside there. And um, let me measure the opening on this one. We have a question from Donna. Is, she wanted to know if those that necklace is glass, Susan? No, it was it was um mother of pearl. Okay. It was old mother of pearl. I hope that answered your question, Donna. Sorry, Dawn. That's okay. No problem. Uh the oh, opening on Athena? this is about an inch. An inch. No, uh this around here is not patina. Um it's a when they heat, um, when they're soldering and they heat, and they're, it, there's a certain name for it. I just, I cannot remember. I know just Sandy would know. Um, but the opening on this is like right now set at an inch and two thirds. Obviously, you could uh, move this. It is flexible enough to make it bigger or smaller according to what you need burnished that's what it looked um on yeah patina yeah that's what i was like a burnished effect um and that's what that one looks like that one's starting at 10 and then we're gonna go to a copper ring um this one is size six it's just a uh copper ring um, we are going to start out at seven on this, and um, that's what this one looks like right here. It's a curved copper um, costume ring. It's got some rhinestones right there on the side, and then this is just a faux stone. It's not a real stone at all. It's not even howlite. Um, it appears it to like be Halloween. just, um, yeah, they definitely made it look like it. 
um, but it is not stone. Uh, but they made it really, really nice. It's right around your finger, nice and thick. There is no uh, marking at all on this one. This would be a great um, ring finger for those of you that have the smaller um, fingers. Oh, yeah, Carla. Yeah, this one, uh, by the way, like I said, guys, you can um, manipulate it to fit your wrist. Uh, you can make it bigger or smaller. So it is adjustable just to let you know. So there's the ring. And then um, my third one is going to start out at 10 as well. This is a uh, necklace. Part of it's stone. Um, part of it's, I think, uh, glass. Glass. Uh, well, that one's acrylic. So um, this is a chunky, chunky um, monkey necklace here. The big um, dark pinkish red stones, those are cherry quartz. And these are huge pieces of cherry quartz right here, guys. You got one, two, three, four. And then on the back, you've got two small ones. It is a toggle clasp. Uh, these beads right here, I believe, are glass, and it appears they've got, like, natural fibers, or, uh, I don't know if they were, like, um, almost like, piece, not really grass, but sort of, kind of, in there, um, really different, and then you've got this smoky colored, um, bead right there that is faceted. And so this one starts at 10. It's a lot, I mean, a lot of cherry quartz. And if anybody needs any measurements, just let me know. Okay, guys? Yeah, I mean, they are super big, nice and cold. I mean, if you live in California or Florida where it's still warm, uh, these would be nice to lay it against your skin. That is number three for me. Why don't you do a fourth one? Because we did. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, for my fourth one, we're going to start this out at five. It's a uh, seed beaded necklace that is super long. This one, um, it's like an ombre effect. It goes from the white down to the like oatmeal color. And then down here to the um, camel colored beads. Really super long. Um, it's done with like string right here. It has the button uh, clasp to it. It is artisan made. So there is no tag for the, this one at all. But this one's starting at five. Super long. If you want me to measure it, I can. But uh, I just thought I'd tell you it is super long. And it is that ombre effect. And the string on here is like multicolored. Nice having you, Paul. Have a good one. All right, that is number four. Okay, so I guess it's me. It's you. It's me. Yes, I got just got it, Paul. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I was just responding to you, but didn't get it finished. Um, I actually have some. Is it Ivanka or Ivana? Trump earrings. Oh, I do it all the time. There we go. Showing everybody up on the cam. Starting bid. Oh. Ah. Mm, eh, let me start them at $4. See if I can get rid of them. There. Is it Ivana or Ivanka Trump? I don't know. The one who makes jewelry. They are clip-ons. And they do have those little guards. Um, 
so that they don't hurt your ears. And let's see. I thought it said it on the inside. Nope. I thought it said somewhere. It may still. I couldn't see it. So any interest in these pretty Ivana? Thank you, Jean. <laughs> they have the silver tone around and then the the gold and the black. And they're just a very... I can't say subtle because they're really not. They're they're a good size. Um, they're about three quarters of an inch, and I'm starting them off at four. If anyone is interested, and then I have also for four dollars, I have these pretty pink. earrings and they're the dis descending um yeah what do you call them no, they're not teardrop they're not pear-shaped marquee marquee thank you everyone needs a little help from their friends <laughs> Just to get by with little help from my friends. <laughs> hey, Sky watching Sandra. My pleasure. So Hi, I, these Sandra. are pierced and they have the little um, plastic piece on the back to keep them from sliding. And these are the, where's the backs of them? There's the backs. So if anyone is interested, those are $4. And then I have a starting bid. Oh. Oh. We have bids. <laughs> We have bids. <laughs> we have Johnny came in at four. Love Hollis came in at five. Johnny's in at six. Love Hollis is in at seven. Johnny's in at eight. I'm going to need oxygen. <laughs> What are you doing here? What are you doing here? We have Love Hollis in at nine. We have Johnny at 10, and they do hang about just below your chin, so they're not too, too long. We have Johnny in at 10. Love Hollis at 11. They must have caught somebody's eye because we have an auction. <laughs> oh, let her have them. <laughs> let her have them. See that, Love Hollis? Love Hollis, I hope you watch Johnny in the morning. His um his coffee and and chat. Um because his intro is just hysterical. <laughs> Your surgery's in twelve hours, Sandra? Yes. Prayers to Sandra, please. Sandra. Best oh, prayers and hugs and best wishes. Speedy recovery. Yes. Oh my. Hmm. 
So we have, I'm going to call it uh, to Love Hollis for 11. I'm going to say going once, going twice, final call, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you very much, Love Hollis. All right, so I have this beautiful. I'm going to start it at seven. And it is, it says Avenue. I'm going to double it. It's a, they're all tiger's eyes with seed beads. And these little in between, they are also tiger's eye. I'm going to put my hand behind it so it'll focus in better. Look at the, look at the tiger's eyes, how they shimmer. There we go. Any interest at all in this tiger sign necklace? The clasp is a lobster claw with the tag that says Avenue. And that is doubled, so that would be quite a long necklace if anyone is interested or changes your mind. I'm going to pass. <laughs> you like my, my, uh, my necklace? <laughs> Where is it? You can make it. Where is it? Come on. You can make it flash. You can make it flash faster. You can leave it steady or you can shut the damn things off. <laughs> All right. So we're going on to Susie Q. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Joyce McCullough. Welcome. Enjoy. Oh, I got to put it on Susie's picture. Hello. Hi. Oh, here's my pen. Oh, boy. Okay. I have one of these, um, these earring... It's an ear cuff and it has a dangle off of it that has a yin yang onk. And it's sterling silver and it's marked at the bottom. And how about we start this at, how about $9? Let me type that in silver with the charm. You could use the charm on something else if you don't like it hanging off of this. And then it would be worth $15. <laughs> so it is a charm? Well, it's a, you know, these are the things that you could put on the sides of your ears. Some people put them up at the top of their ears, like an ear cuff. Do you know ear cuffs? Men sometimes, women. You could. Yeah. You you don't have to have pierced ears to put it on your ear. Is it? Uh, are there two of them or just the one? It's just one. And starting bid. Nine. Nine. Okay. Sterling. 
but it has like inlay, inlay white and black, and it's a yin yang, but it's it's an ankh, like which is was like an ancient kind of good luck peace cross symbol. But I think it was Greek before it was. See, everybody claims to have started the cross movement. Jerusalem, the Greeks. But it's called an Ankh. I don't even know how to spell Ankh. A. O N K? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to spell it. Yeah, probably a one K. I have a ring that's an onk too. Yeah. I'm gonna need to get me some more medium bags. I guess it goes like that. Maybe it's not an onk. I don't know. Maybe it's just a cross. It's Egyptian. It's not Greek. It's ank. Okay. Ah. This is this is an ankh for sure. This might just be a cross with a yin-yang. This is a this is a Buddhist who hasn't made up their mind, and this is an ankh. <laughs> but anyway, that's for sale too. Hi everybody. <laughs> I used to know all these things back in the day. I my brain has shifted to other things like trying to get my dog to eat and keep an appointment. All right, if, we'll pass on that if nobody's bidding. Um, I have these little hematites with Shirovsky bicones with sterling tops or silver tops, I believe. How about five dollars? We'll just break the bank. This is a Christmas special. I usually sell handmade jewelry for more. But we'll try something else. Earrings. Are they silver um, hooks? This this is um, Labradorite. No, the earrings. Oh. He the says, what is, is that a half mode ring I'm wearing? Is that a half mode? I don't know what is it. Half moon, oh, I think. Oh, no, that's a, um, that's it's a lab. It's a labradorite. It is like a half moon. Yeah. The earring. Um, that's awesome. Thanks. I got it from a friend. I think I know who you got that from. <laughs> <laughs> so how much are the earrings? Starting bid? I said five. Five? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is a very pretty ring because it is a, a labradorite. <laughs> I thought I'd try them. I'm trying them out. It's, it's, it's my first run today. It's a little big. But yeah. Oh, it's not a mood. It's a um it's a labradorite, not mood. I wish I always wanted a mood ring from when I was a kid. I actually bought some mood rings and it and I'm so cold I can't make them work. Isn't it sad? <laughs> that I never thought that that would happen. I'm so hot usually. Wait. All right. I'll put this down. What was I going to show? These Okay, I have sterling and I have CZs. But if you like bling, oh, how am I going to show these? Let's show them like this. I don't know if I could, if I'm showing them, but these are like a locking. Yeah, I'll show one. They have a locking post and they have, they're very, very glittery. Oh, 
they're very shiny and pretty. Um, Sterling and CZ's, how about $12? These are so sparkly. I always, they're making the CZ so pretty these days that I don't know why you would buy diamonds. They're nice, right? The one's bidding. Thank you, Dawn. I love my bling, people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, is that pretty? I wouldn't judge. I would never judge a bling lover. Those are earrings, huh? Yeah, they oh. have a um, locking post. Sterling. Oh. Where did my pocketbook go? I'm, I'm thinking lover. New Year's Eve with those. That's what I'm thinking. All right, then I'll 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 bill you tomorrow and send <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to rush this along. <laughs> yeah, New Year's in. Eve with just those on. <laughs> oh, well, that would be Ooh, special. Ooh, that's... Yeah. I, I wonder... I'm, I'm um, talking just those. <laughs> okay. So we have... um, We have Dawn in. Dawn in. Oh, Carol's at it again. <laughs> yeah, Carol's at it. All right, let's call it for Dawn. Because I don't see anybody else bidding. But I'll hold okay. them up to my face. So she can get an idea. For how, for proportion. I'm not taking those off of her. Going one, <laughs> going big twice. They look up in front of the camera, huge. And then <laughs> she's going to be making brownie points with those. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, I got to make those points. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Thanks. Yes. Thank awesome. You. Yay! Yay! I know, I know, I heard there's delays. That's scary to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Who's counting? How much was that? Was that one, two, three? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't count my own. <laughs> Is squeezing its squeaky toy. You had that one in the ear cuff, so that's two. Thank you, Dawn. You're right. welcome. <laughs> I don't need All right, here. This is a long shot, but what the hell? I'll show it anyway. I have um, a cameo that. I was getting all excited because it was, it's beautiful cameo and it was, it's, as I drop it, <laughs> ship to, it's, it could be a pendant or a pin. It's gold. I thought it was gold. I always was told it was gold, but then I looked at it and it was marked 900, which somebody I thought was platinum, but somebody told me it could also mean that it was gold plated sterling. She has a lovely face, and she's going to be $50, so if somebody wants her, she can have her.
She's vintage. And she belonged to my mother. Really? Yeah. No. People are like, don't sell her. Wow. Yeah, sell her. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You want to pay my bills? <laughs> I was going to say, we're running out of unemployment insurance. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's that's kind of camera mute too noisy. Ooh, you got it. Oh, okay. Sorry. If anybody's interested, let me know. Yeah, it's nice, right? All right, I'll I'll put this down. I'll put up some. Do I have another one to sell, or was that my three? I don't know. Was that three? Yeah, she's gonna have to pay me shipping too, Miss Lamb. That was I don't know. Was Dawn counting? Nice, been here tonight. Got a boogie. Carol, let me know how to pay Susie. Definitely. Take care, honey. I'll chat with you tomorrow. All right. Yes, we have Love Hollis in for three. Oh, it was three? All right. Then, Carol, you're up. Oh, that was three. <laughs> I was just saying, no, that's not for self -care. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my God. I had to take a chance. <laughs> that would be something to take to work. All right. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show this later. Two, three. All right. I have... One. Are you, come on, Carol, it's your turn. Yep. Three, okay. four, five, six pairs of earrings. Show yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to stay in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it my turn? Carol, oh, you wait. forgot about oh. me. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No wonder I was like Russian. <laughs> I'm like, didn't think that's it was me like, over here. I'm sorry, Dawn. Oh, that's okay. It's no problem, guys. <laughs> I'm glad you put me in my place because I need it. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Um, my next one is a um, Sterling Cross. It has been tested. And it's totally solid right there. This is starting at 30. It's a nice uh, cross pendant. Um, really thick bail on that one. A nice sturdy chain. Um, I will weigh it for you. Let me pull my jewelry form over here so I can weigh this real quick. Okay, this one is six grams. And, oops. There goes my trusty toothpick. I always say that. It's not always that trusty, come to find out. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, this is sterling. I'm gonna show you the back. Up at the top of the bale, um, it is marked 925. We just gotta. It is kind of carved in there in the sterling, um, but it's kind of a real shallow uh, carving, and that one's starting at thirty for sterling. If anybody is interested, it's nice and thick. It's six grams in weight. So there's that one. 
And then uh, my second item is, let me put it in the chat here. Is a ring. This is a carnelian ring. It is a size um, eight and a quarter. It's got three uh, pieces. Let me take off this ring. It's got three um, stones, three carnelian stones, all sterling, and it's starting out at 30. It's a size eight and a half. It is stamped 925 inside the band. Really unique design for carnelian. You've got the marquee shape tilted on the side, and then you've got the two little small cabochons on either side. Size eight and a half. Um, I'll show you the back. They are open, the stones are. And um, the 925, let me see if I can do this. I keep practicing, guys. Sometimes I get it, but sometimes I don't. It is stamped 925 right there, guys. It's upside down, but uh, there is the stamping that is 925, and it is tested if anybody's interested. That is that one. And then for number three, um, this one is going to start out at 10. We have a stone necklace. Really, really beautiful on this one. It's uh, multi-stones. They are multi-faceted on each and every one of the stone beads. And then this pendant is actually, it's not stone. Um, I really think it's done in, uh, clay that they've, um, shellacked basically. And it's a dark, like hunter green color rose. Like I said, that one is not stone, but the rest of them are stone. You've got some tree agate in there. You've got some Jasper, um, I see strawberry quartz. Um, it looks like a uh, possible pre night. Um, just beautiful. Um, possible. Um, looks like lemon quartz. Uh, so you've got just um, a gamut of different stones in here. They are fully faceted to give that shine no matter which way you go. Um, there is the clasp lobster claw on this one, starting out at 10, if anybody's interested. If anybody wants a measurement, I can do that for you also. And that is number three, and we can go on to Carol. Already? Already. Ooh, that was an echo. <laughs> echo, 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 echo. Let's see, how many do I have? I'm going to put 10. Uh, that's not coming out right. Starting bid. All right. I have 10 pairs of earrings here, and it's a lot. And I'm going to put me up because you're not going to be able to see them if Dawn's pictures are <laughs> This is one I of them. charades. <laughs> you can what? I don't know if that'll help you, but I can do charades. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These earrings are like grapes. <laughs> <laughs> and these are turquoise seed beads. Carol, Carol, we cannot see you. <laughs> this is a pair of CD. <laughs> and then I have these are like snakes and it has a a feeling of like plastic to it or leather or whatever. So that's the third pair. 
The fourth pair is like double hoops with uh, bi uh, bicones. One, two, three, four. Hey, I can count sometimes. <laughs> These are, they have a, they're like partial hoops, but they feel um, like a texture to them. And then all of a sudden they have that pressed look. This is six pair, the sixth pair. And these kind of remind me of um, uh, scarabs, but it's not. All right, that's six. And this is seven. They're copper and they're big hoops. These are eight. These are like little rhinestones. <laughs> These are nine. These remind me of like retro. And they don't have, these don't have backings, but I do have backings that I can put on them. I want to make sure that before I send them out, that these posts have backings. All right. And then I have these that are 10. They're a pale baby blue in their posts. And then I'll throw in this pair. They're just like little gold discs, 11, for $5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yep, 11 pair. And I'll throw these in. These are like circles that are like discs. 12 pair for $5. I'm going to say go once. Is there a lag? There might be a lag. Let me see. Twenty two seconds. I think there is a lag. All right. So we're going to say going once. Going twice. Final call. Five, four, three, two, one. And sold. <laughs> you had me stumped there, Johnny. Sold for $5. Awesome. Get them out of here. Better you have them than me. <laughs> 10 pair earrings. $5. They're gone. Normally, I put them in all separate bags. Would it be okay or... Because I can put them in separate bags if you want, Love Hollis. I just, yeah, maybe I will. I'm just going to put them in separate bags. Because, um, thank you. Um, I have this long set of 
a pearl necklace. I don't believe that they're real because I don't see a knot in between. They're really long. And I'm going to say... Okay, starting bid $2. And there is a spring clasp. Is that 9 p.m. Eastern, Peter? Oh, okay. Um, they're really long. These are doubled. And anyone in for $2? You could probably triple them and then you'd look like. Oh, we have Love Hollis in for two. This is Love Hollis's purple personal show with me. <laughs> yeah, you could probably even put them as three. I'm fine, honey, Peter. How are you? I've got to catch your show one of these nights. I need to really come in and talk, be on your show. Um, so we have Love Hollis in it too. They're very pretty. And I'm going to say going once. Going twice. Final call. Five, four, three, two, one sold to love hollis <laughs> all right let's see uh that was one two i'm grasping for things Ah. I have this uh, abalone necklace. Um, Peter, put your link in for when your auction is. Yeah, I know. Well, no, I think he's washing something else, but he does do dishes. Yeah. That's my little Scottish hottie. <laughs> and I don't think... Okay. Did I put a price in? Off here. Huh? I know you always do. Every time you come up here, you get me all shook up. I just had to come back in and say my sister got lost, not once but twice, not 12 miles from my house, and she's so. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm glad that you finally found her. It is a twisted, let me show it from this side, a twisted chain. Yeah, Steve's my king. This is an abalone, and if it can focus, let's get my husband out of the picture, then it'll focus. <laughs> so won't I. <laughs> We have Love Hollis in at 12. That's Isn't pretty. that? I just, it's weird because there's like the circle and then there's that blue mark, but there looks like there's a line. Mm 
Good night, Judy. Take care and be safe. God Good night. You. A million angels watching over you during your, your chemo and radiation. Love to Good you. Good night, Judith. We love you, Judy. Best wishes. We have Cajun at 18. Look at that. It, I just. Carol, did you test that? I thought I did, but. And that's what I was wondering. It looks like Sterling. I did test some things, but then I thought I tagged them. But then again, nowadays, my thinking is just. <laughs> that's Nope, neither. <clears throat> All right, Love Hollis is in at 19 and Johnny says, let her have it. Here we go. Thank you very much, love. I'm going to say going once. Going twice. Final call. Five, four, three, two, one. And sold. Thank you very much. And I think that was my three. So we're going to go on to Susie. <clears throat> okay, hi. So. All right. All right. Let's start with Christmas something. It might be late. I don't know. I have. This was in a vintage lot. But it's really pretty. It, you could see it's vintage on the back. But I, I searched and searched. I can't see a, a name brand. Let me look at the sides. But anyway, maybe somebody else could find it. It's a, obviously it's a stocking with stuffed with gifts and candy canes and a wrapped present. It's a brooch. And here's another one. And I, I can sell them together. I'll sell them together how about ten dollars it's a lot and it'll it could be buy it now if you'd like it vintage good night robert Okay, which Robert left? Krennic. Oh, good night, Robert. It looks like regular red in person.
<laughs> Hi, Punisher. Hi, Punisher. <laughs> I feel funny saying hi, to, like say hi to my, to my neck. <laughs> this is ten dollar lot here, Christmas. I'll throw in those antlers that didn't stay on my head. Isn't that? <laughs> That's a real attractive thing. All right, we'll pass on that. I have um, I have a necklace. It's um, this is costume jewelry, but I thought the chain looks the chain looks spot on good. I'll take it apart and show you. This this came off the card and I put it on my card, but it, it's just delicate rhinestones on a tiny heart. And it, it's rhinestones on both sides. And it's on, what do they call it when it's like at this? A T, a T or a lasso or? Y necklace. A what, a Y? Y necklace, yeah. So it's a Y necklace. And, a, and it has an extender. And how about 10 bucks? The big TV. Wow, that could be scary. I would not want to see my face on a big TV. Sure, why not? <laughs> I said I I dreamed of my next um my ne before when I was single, I said my next boyfriend should be far-sighted and not wear glasses in bed. That's that was my dream. <laughs> Because I wasn't getting Botox. Because <laughs> when we lay in bed, we we're like, what time is it? And he's like, I can't see the clock. I go, I can't either. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. And I'm like, that's, that's good. As long as when, when if we're, either of us get Lasex, we're kind of screwed, I think. <laughs> It's better to be a little blurry, I think. Leaves the mystery alive. <laughs> like, do you really want to creep in there? No, I don't want to see you that close. <laughs> hey, Luke. <laughs> She's laughing. All right. I'll pass on that. This is a Monet chain. Monet. Did it, has anybody Ooh. seen this Monet chain? Monet. Monet. It's a gold Monet. Double watch hours. Double. I'm trying to figure out what that means. I don't know. Oh, he's. Oh, they're watching you from two different accounts. That's double watch hours for you, Cat. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Johnny. You're such a yeah. love. All right. Well, I have this Monet necklace. And <laughs> sorry about that. How about ten bucks? It it is pretty. It's old. Oh, I bought a, I bought a lot of vintage things. I thought Why people liked you? vintage things. Monet means, yeah. I don't know. Monet means it should be it would be nice if it meant money, but let's yeah. see. <laughs> if I sell some of it, it'll be nice. 
Monet, Monet. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Let's get some Monet, Monet, Monet going home at home. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Monet, Monet can go home at home. With That's me. a beautiful Monet. How much do you want for that? I said 10. It's nice. It looks like real gold. Except for the clasp. But everything else looks really good. <laughs> the, the clasp doesn't look so real gold, but everything else looks really good. It's it it's really pretty. How long is it uh Luke wants to know? Mr. Raider? Miss Raider. Oh Miss, sorry. Ooh. Miss Raider, yes. So She's I'm very sorry. much a woman. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're sorry. Eight and a half to 16. 16 and 16. 30. Is that no? 17. 17 inches. That's 34. No, it's, it's eight and a half. Oh, okay. With a little width extra so it's about it's about 18. i'd say it's 18 because it had that like curve that i didn't include for ten dollars that's not bad I, I would put it i would sell it for more online for sure i'm You're asking welcome, for, Moot. for my friends sorry miss Raider. Ms. Ms. Raider. Somebody who's a loot raider sounds like, you know, a monster. A guy. Boy. Yeah. If I didn't see her myself, I would think probably the same thing. <laughs> but I saw her and she's got a beautiful dog. I love dogs. I have. No. I have two beautiful dogs. Oh, I think it's oh. too short. For it's too short. Okay. Aww. Variety. Okay. All right. One, two. That was my three. Okay. Okay. It's Dawn's turn. Dawn's turn. Delta Dawn. De the, no, we no, don't like that song. That. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know. All right, guys. Better. I have a choice of. Uh, these are two uh, lip balm sets. Each of them have four lip balms per set. They are both by Beauty Concepts. And this is the first one. And I'll tell you, uh, the flavors are vanilla, lavender, almond, and peppermint. That's in that one. These would make uh, great gifts. Um this one is hot cocoa, vanilla sugar, pomegranate, and peppermint. Uh, so they both have peppermint. And, um, but this one has those yummy flavors. Hot cocoa, I mean, that sounds like a winner. So uh, this is Choice Of starting at 10. And it's got the um, to and from tags. And like I said, they're both from Beauty Concepts. You know, just like your chapsticks, but flavored. All right. Um, the next item is going out at $10 also. And this one is a salt and pepper shaker. Uh, these are pretty big. These are the Silver Tone Reindeer. Uh, perfect. Right before Christmas, you know, you got the cork stoppers for this one. Um, both of them have just the two um, holes right there, but I want to point out the only flaw is on this one, 
there's a little bit of like a, a scratch right there um, at the top. And it looks to be the rest of it is in great condition. Uh, just right there at the top. Uh, so these are starting at 10 salt and pepper shakers. Okay, and then for my last item, um, this one's starting out at 10. And um, this one is a vintage um, trinket box. It's got the um, Christmas tree with the presents, the little teddy bear. And then when you open it, it's got the holly on the inside. Now, if I um, start to get a bid, um, and if it, um, if this gets up to 13, I'm going to start adding costume jewelry to it. And it will then become a jewelry lot. Okay? So this is starting at 10. If it reaches 13, I'm going to start putting jewelry in here. Um, this is made by Nico from Japan. Okay, that's my three. That'll be up. Oh, we have Cajun in at ten. Okay, thank you, Johnny. It's a cute little uh, trinket box. It's got the uh, green lining right around the lid. Anybody want to come in at 11? Okay, we can count Johnny down. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love this one. This one, um, really cool. I like the way the, the style of the Christmas tree there. We're going to go once to Johnny. Going twice. Last call. And we are sold to Johnny. Thank you so much. Lynn's sitting on her hands. <laughs> is that your three? That is my three. Okie dokie. All right. I have another earring lot. If I could type would be great. <laughs> if I could talk would be great. <laughs> All right, so we have another earring lot at five dollars. The first one are clip ons. Oh, not yet, Johnny. You have the cutest little pitches that you send through Messenger. I want to know how you do those. These are like little arrows. That's one pair. This is another pair. And they have the um, the little rubber at the end. Um, I think they're like, um, not a plastic, but um, 
I don't know, they're very lightweight, a resin, maybe, not even. These are posts, that's three. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> if you could, if you can count to three, that would be fabulous. <laughs> Alice is in at five. Okay. This is another pair. They're white, but they have like a, I don't know, like a shimmer to them. Then I have these, and these actually have the, um, spring clip so that's one two three four five johnny i can go to five <laughs> <laughs> and this is six and these are these are very pretty but they're they're the screw-ons And these are seven. These are really funky. Winky. <laughs> like, yeah. Seven. These are, these remind me of those ones that when you're piercing your ears, that could probably go round and round and round. But you can, that thing is so long, you can make it as long or as short as you want. That's eight. These are nine. These are like a royal blue. And they're posts. And these are the hook earrings come on my fingers don't want to work these are 10 bicones in between two different color pinks These are 11. These are very pretty. These are 12. This is the 12th pair. And I like the way that it's like an Aurora Borealis, but it's a, a clip back, snap back. So we got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, that's twelve. I can't do thirteen <laughs> for five dollars. Anybody want to go six? If not, I'm gonna call it to Love Hollis and say going once, going twice. Final call. Five, four, three, two, one. And sold to Love Hollis. Thank you, Love Hollis. And how many was that? I think that was My just um, one. one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm going to put a line in between. <laughs> All right. I I know what I'm gonna do. I have this daydreams embroidery kit. It's on glass. It's called Glistening Noel. And thank you, Love Hollis. Both sets of earrings made two. Did I have two sets? Oh, did I miss one? 
that was the 10 pair. Then I did the amber chain. So now I did the, this lot of earrings. Don't confuse me. I'm confused enough. <laughs> I'm going to say starting bid $2 on this. It's embroidery and it's under glass. And you can do it in a in a weekend. It's a, got a designer mat. It comes out to be eight by eight. And it stitchery harmonizes to create this exquisite finished design on one easy, relaxing weekend. Everything is included. It was one set. Thank you, Love Hollis. Um, it contains cotton and metallic threads, printed muslin fabric, designer mat, backing board, glass spring clips, a needle, and simple instructions for stitchers on all levels. Um, and once it's done, it'll be on glass and it'll be like embroidery. So $2 for that. And I have a Ferrari hat. And I'm going to say starting bid $6. Doesn't everybody want a Ferrari hat if you drive a Volkswagen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you like drive a little Prius, funny. it's like I I eat hamburger and think I'm eating prime rib. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Not Six dollars really. for a Ferrari hat cap. I mean, wouldn't the man in your life want a Ferrari cap? Probably only if he was driving a Ferrari. Well, he'd want the he Volkswagen, wants the Volkswagen hat. Hat. <laughs> or the Prius or. Okay, that's my three. I can count this time. <laughs> my friends yeah. would want the Volkswagen for sure. I have Volkswagen lover friends. But what? You should listen. On that. eBay? The, Vol the Ferrari. Yeah, yeah I think my husband did and it didn't go anywhere. So he said, get rid of it. I said, okay. But nobody's biting. Oh, hi. <laughs> All right, I'm stepping oh, back. Oh, good. I, I have a caftan with tags. And it's like a one Hello. size. Hello, one size the treasure. Both. One size. A one sizer fits most people. You know. So it's a caftan? It's a caftan, Jess. Starting bid. And it's satin. Um ten dollars. One size fits most. <laughs> I'm going to say that just because with the tags. Hi, Elise's treasures. So, you know, it's cozy and comfy. Sometimes you want a lounge. You want lounge wear. You know what? And it's probably long. It's like down... It's down to like my calf. It's a calf tan to my calf. And how are the um, armpits? Are they wide open? They're that much. They're not bad. So in other words, if I moved, my boobies wouldn't come out, right? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Your boobies. <laughs> I mean, are they... They would have to be, are they, well, they would have uh, to be doing the twist. 
Yeah, well, all I have to do is turn around and they start wiggling. <laughs> yeah, but they are they that? <laughs> well, yeah, they're yeah. big. <laughs> well, I know they're big, no. but they're not all the way down at your arm. No, they're probably it'll probably hurry up and bid on it before I do. <laughs> Come on, bid it. somebody. It's pretty. It looks beautiful. It is beautiful. It's so shiny and. Can you imagine these pretty lounging colors. around the pool in that? You have a pool? Yep. See, I don't have a pool. This is perfect for you. Yeah. I could almost do my yard work in it, but no, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. I bid 10. Oh, cool. You Let's don't think count it down again. I was waiting. No, I was waiting for other people to see if they wanted it. <laughs> you do? Johnny has a purple one. How much is yours, Johnny? <laughs> How much is yours, Johnny? He doesn't want to say. He doesn't want to say. We'll have to check out his eBay store. Because <laughs> purple's one of my favorite colors. Would, would it be more, Johnny? I'm sure. Well, if it's in a ZB store. <laughs> All right, let's count it down. Do we have any advancement? I or... can't count it. Oh, okay. Go in once. Don't remember. <laughs> All right. He doesn't remember. All right. It's going once for 10. Unless we hear 11. It's new with tags, people. A lovely caftan. It's satin. Oh, and white. I'll say now it's going to go three times. <laughs> I don't know if we go three times. <laughs> and Next, go three times. It's going to be fair warning. And we will be sold. I'm going to count it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and Sold. Okay, it's sold. Thank to you, me. Carol. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. One of these, I think, is silver. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to show is where did it go well i have this on the card so i'll show this i have um a panda a bling panda that articulates and it's on a ball chain and ten dollars Show the back, the front. Oh, I had something downstairs I wanted to show you guys.
It's the panda. So starting bid on the panda? Ten dollars. Okay, I don't see any bids. I'll put it down. We'll pass on that. I have a, this is a sterling silver, mother of pearl. And in the center is a dot of coral. On the bail is a little piece of mother of pearl as well like a little inlay. I'll show you. And it's a swirl pattern of inlay. But Can you see it? Oh yeah. I'm going to start this at I'll include the chain and I'm starting this at $18 and it's marked at a, it's marked nine fifty, which is more than sterling silver in silver. I'll show you. I froze. All right. But it's it's a nice little piece. It was um eighteen. Eighteen, Lisa. We got Lisa in for eighteen. Thank you, Lisa. Is anybody interested in advancing? Okay. Um, Carol. Um, yeah. Can you count it down, Teresa? Sure. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> going once. Uh, okay. going twice. I appreciate I it. Call. No problem. <laughs> That's I get for trying to do about fifty other things. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Lisa. I appreciate it uh and sold <laughs> thanks lisa all right 
I think that was my three. So Dawn is a name brand. Oh, and here's the link. Okay. Very pretty. Thanks. If that was for me, or for that. Thank you, we Appreciate it. All right. So what am I doing here? You're going to give Dawn a chance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this he is. <laughs> this he is. <laughs> here I am. All right, guys. Uh, my next one is going to be a costume cuff bracelet and uh man this is so nice um we have this beautiful uh medallion right in the middle here and it's got a deep uh purple stone um none of these are real stones um that one might be glass and then as you go outward there's some purple cat's eye beads um the marquee cut um, stones are actually um, enamel. And then you've got red beads also. Just really, really beautiful all the way around. The cuff is uh, one and five eighths inch opening. And this one is starting at five. Uh, obviously you can, um, you can adjust. You can adjust this one to fit you better. I just thought it was really pretty. All the different purples and reds, and the medallion. The metal work is shaped in hearts, so that adds to it too. I thought that was really pretty. Oh, wow. That is pretty. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And it's very lightweight. This one is not heavy at all. Um, my guess is that this might have nickel in it, uh, which is a lighter uh, metal. Um, I don't think it's aluminum. I mean, it could be more than one type of metal in this. Oh, yeah. Yep. I see what you're saying, Johnny. Thank you. We have Johnny in at five. It, it does. I see the cross. I see what you're talking about. Anybody want to go six? It's very beautiful, lightweight which i mean um really is nice when you're wearing it you're you're not gonna feel you know a weight on your wrist all right we're gonna go once to johnny at five going twice Last call. And Johnny, that is yours. Congratulations. Awesome. All right, um, the next item, it is not jewelry. Um, we are gonna start this out at 10. Uh, this is makeup for all you ladies out there um, that like your makeup. I have a brand new MAC uh, eyeliner pencil. And this one is waterproof with vitamin E. And it's black, brand new. 
Um, I do not sell anything used when it comes to makeup or anything like that. And it's not the coal uh, pencils that are harder. Uh, these are the um, the easy wind up ones. Okay. Um, so this isn't the harsh one. So this is a Mac guy starting at 10 black. I've got my own that I'm wearing tonight. I'm wearing the Mac tonight. But like I said, this is brand new. I don't sell anything used like that. So, so if anybody did, there is that. That was my second. And for my third, this one's going to start out at $15. Uh, this is another idea for Christmas. Um, Christmas present. We have the Eco Tools um, glossy finish um, brush set. It comes with the three brushes and then it comes with two hairpins. Um, and I love these hairpins because they have crystals uh, on the end of the hairpins. One of them is pink and one of them is purple. Brand new, uh, still in the box. Starting at 15, a great uh, Christmas present. Okay, Lisa, I will write you down for the Mac. Thank you so much. And I do have your info already, of course. So we're all set. Thank you, Lisa, and congratulations. Um, yeah, that's a great uh, a great price for that Mac. I love it. Like I said, I use the Mac eyeliner. This one is starting at 15. Thank you, Lisa. I got you down. Thank you, Johnny, for your help. Congratulations. I think you're going to like it, Lisa. And that is my three. If anybody's interested in this kit, you just let me know. Like I said, it'd be a great uh, Christmas present there. And back to Carol. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, I have a few things going on here. Um, all right. I have this... Um, pendant <clears throat> all right I have this pretty pendant it's a starting bid of three it has a very wide bail My fingers don't work. That's the back of it. And the front. And that's the starting bit of three. We have Love Hollis in it three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any other, any other interest? If not, I'm going to call it. It is very pretty. I tested it, and it is not sterling silver, even though it looks sterling silver. It's not. So I'm going to say going once, going twice, final call, and five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Love Hollis <laughs> for three dollars. The heart pendant. Okay. Uh 
Okay. I do have this one. All right. I'm going to put it at 10. It is um, sterling. I tested it and it does turn blue. If you notice just around the blue, there's like a gold tone. I don't believe it is a real stone. To me, it does look like blue's cat's eye, but this is sterling, and I weighed it. I mean, I weighed it. <laughs> yeah, I I tested it. <clears throat> but yeah, it does remind me of blue cat's that eye. That looks like Labradorite to me. Is it? I mean, look at the lines through it. I don't know. Yeah, uh, that looks uh, very much like Labradorite to me. Yeah. What do you think, uh, Susie, on that one? That looks like Labradorite to me. I think it, I think it looks like it could be like an optic stone. Does it have inclusions or does it just have just those lines. that one flat? See, like, I think Labradorite has a lot of inclusion. I don't know. Every piece of Labradorite I've seen looks a little, like, beat up. The chat and in reality. reality. Yeah. Oh, it's cracked. Are you in live chat, Loot? Huh. Or did you go out and come back in? Because there could be a pretty bad lag. You pressed live chat. I love how this is in. It's been like that all night. Cajun's at 14. All right. Okay. Cajun came in at 10. Love Hollis came in at 11. Cajun came back at 12. Love Hollis came back at 13. Cajun came back at 14. Now, Bren, Phoenix Rising, is in at 15. Love Hollis is out. Cajun's at 16. Um, I don't know, Luke. But you're, she's, she's with you, the chat now. Is, is the, on the, on the, the, um, the bottom here is the red line all the way over to the end. And there's a little dot. And you press skip ahead three seconds. Right about here. It should have a red light. It's like a reverse lag. Loot, I've been like that on other channels tonight. I guess there must be something going on. But the red line's got to be all the way over to the to the end here. And then on this side, underneath, there should be a little dot. And it should be red. Yep, it's on red live. Got to be something going on. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're asking her. Are you seeing a a silver pendant with a blue stone? Not anymore. We have Bren in at 17. Now it's Carol's hand. It is red live and the red live, it's just weird. Huh. Now she's holding it. Yep. I have Cajun Roots in at 18. It is just beautiful. It is. It's beautiful. 
And yeah, um, Susie, it could be optic um, to make it, and that would explain why it looks like a cat's eye. Um, yeah. It looks like that. Like I, mean, I said, you know, when, I, when, I, when I look at it, I it see could different be a star flashes. sapphire for all we know. But can you imagine? That's what a star yeah. sapphire looks like. If oh, that's that's a star awesome. sapphire, it, it would be hmm. a great deal. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time Johnny got some great deals out of me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> My grandfather had a star sapphire and it looked like that. <laughs> so. Like whatever, but it I could like be. Give, I like to give everybody good deals, and then see them make money on it. Cause but it also looks like an optic. Like, I feel good. That's the thing about like these manufactured stones. They look, they look good now. The CZs mean, no? look more beautiful than a lot of real diamonds. What they do you mean, beautiful. Nope, Johnny? You know I love to see you make money on my stuff. <laughs> he's saying dope. So he is sitting at 18. Okay. Hey, it's not Love Hollis buying something now. <laughs> Nothing against you, Love Hollis. I love every sale that you made this tonight. It's nice when one person buys a bag full of stuff yeah i'm thinking I, i'm gonna it's have one day just invoicing her stuff <laughs> it's nice yeah yeah and i've already got a bag that johnny already paid for now we're starting another one <laughs> uh you have never sold me anything that i have been disappointed from with you that's why i said no oh Thank you, Johnny. That's nice. Thank you. That's awesome. That's why he keeps returning. <laughs> I love those picture frame cards, Carol. The what? I just opened them. What picture oh, frame? You, you sold me cards that will hold photographs. Uh-huh. Oh. A million of them. Yes. Boxes and boxes and boxes. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> like six boxes. They arrived. Yeah. <laughs> Good. They're, ni they're nice. Very okay. Nice. So this is going to Love Hollis and that's going to, that was two, right? What else do I have? I have oh. something. I have that Brewopoly game if anybody's interested. Is Lisa still here? I want to show her something. What did I want for the Brewopoly? I don't even remember. Oh, let me say eight dollars on this. I think I wanted ten, but I have a Brewopoly game. It's a game where people who like to drink beer. <laughs> I understand it's pretty good. In Brewopoly, Opoly, you buy or trade for your favorite beers and increase property value by purchasing brews and tap houses for your monopolies. Sounds easy enough until you have to put on your beer goggles, kiss your neighbor, or stand and sing 99 bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> or so choose funny. your choke and advance to cheers. Who knows? You might be collecting money from every player for a beer run, and you might be chosen beer drinker of the month. <laughs> it's still in the package. <laughs> It's just like Monopoly, but it's called Brewopoly. I don't know if you have to drink a glass of beer every time it's around or what. I don't know. <laughs> Two to six players. 
Somebody please take it off my hands. <laughs> oh, fun facts on the back of each deed. Ooh, no kissing. What do you mean no kissing? Oh, because of COVID. Yeah. Yeah, you can't kiss your neighbor. You're right. I've been channel surfing tonight. The lag has been terrible on all of them. Well, thank you for coming here. You saved the best for last, friend. <laughs> all right. If nobody's interested in that, I think that was my three. So we're on to Susie. All right. I know it's Carol. It is. Um, I wanted to show something to Lisa's treasures, maybe, but I'll show everybody. I have. Um, this is a necklace I acquired. It was. It's eighteen karat gold plated sterling silver. It's. I'll show you the back. I was stumped. I thought it was actual gold, but I realized it, it was over sterling and now it's doing, and it, there's little diamonds. There's a little diamond here. It's one eighth of a carat of diamonds. So I wouldn't get excited about the quantity of diamonds, uh, one eighth of a carat. The rest are amethyst. Amethyst. I'm going to flash my light on it. I'm going to start this at um, $20. Is $20. That, is that sapphire? It's um, amethyst. Oh, and amethyst. an eighth of a carat of actual diamond. Huh. But it's 18 carat over sir sterling. It was eighty dollars. Carol, was... I would take for eight. My internet went down and had to jump on phone. Lisa's in. Lisa's treasures in for twenty. Thank um, you, Lee. What the Brewopoly, Julie? That's the tag that got cut off. My crown and whiskey. Sometimes run depending rum depending on what i am drinking cajun's in for 22 okay that is pretty lisa's in for 24 okay thank you julie Um, the little diamonds on the side are so tiny. I'm just telling you right now, they're very tiny. But the middle diamond is noticeable. Lisa treasures in for 34. Thanks. Eight dollars for this. What's this? Oh. If you don't like any of it, sell it. It's yours to do with as you see fit. I just got a card, Dawn. Ah. Awesome. You got a card? A car? What did you get? A car. Did you get my oh. card too, Susie? No, I didn't get my mail, but thank you. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> yeah. I thought you said a car. I was like, I'd like a car. <laughs> I would like a new car, but not. It, it could be used. I'm. I'm. I'm actually. Crap. Thank you. 
I'm not going to get a, um, I'm going to get a used car this time. For Phil. Lisa's treasure's out. We have Johnny oh. in at 46. Thank you. I guess we have to call it. Yeah. Okay. It's going once to Johnny. Okay. Oh, that's me trying to <laughs> trying to type again when my cursor's not on. Going, going twice. twice. Oh, you're typing. Gonna try. Five, four, three, two, one, and sold to Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. Congratulations. Oh. Thank you so much. Okay. How much? 46. 46. At Bren Rising. Oh, I'm sorry. Good thing for you. She had great taste and was into. I appreciate oh, it. Run. I hope, is this a Christmas gift, I hope? <laughs> Should I wrap it up like a gift, Johnny? Or you want it? Oh. Thank you, John. You are welcome. They're beautiful. I love them. And you know the posts? Remind me of the first set of posts I had when I got my ears pierced. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you, Lisa, for bidding. Appreciate it. Thank you, Johnny, for winning. I appreciate Aww. it, too. I haven't sent any Christmas cards out. Yeah, I, I'm bad. I we do a video every year, and we um, we try to keep it really personalized, and we send that out to everybody. <laughs> okay, I don't have to do that. All right. Nope. Johnny says nope. You don't have to do that. Okay. All right, thanks. Oh, that was my first thing, I think. Okay. I got so, like, flabbergasted that I, I actually had things that people were bidding on that I'm like, ah. Okay. Does anybody like bling paw prints? <laughs> well, I should just keep going with the sterling, right? Yeah. But what? I have a, a bling paw print. I'll do $8. If anybody's interested. The chain has an extender. Oh, you do? Oh, it's cute. This is rhinestone, obviously.
Good night, loot reader. Maybe we'll pass on that. Is anybody interested in a little silver locket? I have a little silver locket here. It's a vintage one. Well, it's sterling. I'll start this at fifteen dollars. So start bid is eight fifteen dollars for this. Good night, Loot Raider. Good night, Loot Raider. Oh, did you add Dawn back? Oh, did she bounce out? She said she was going to refresh real quick and add her back. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Because she's going to be coming on right now. Oh, there she is. Okay, it's her turn. All right, thank you. Yeah, it's her turn. All right. Here we go, girlfriend. All right. I'm thanks, back. everybody. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Um, I have a sterling necklace. I will do the measurements and all that. Um, it is going to start out at $35. Uh, this is um, some cowgirl boots, and it is on a box chain. It is sterling, and it is marked. Um, oh, there's a little... I can get that little tangle out because I've got a... Uh, I gotta measure this real quick. Let me let me get this little tangle out, guys. There we go. And uh, first, I'll show you. It says um, nine two five um, something on it um, on the little razor blade here, and I will measure it for you it's all sterling the pendant and um also the chain and this is it's less than um 18 inches it's like um 17 and a half or 17 and three quarters and we're starting this out at 35 like i said it's a uh, pair of cowgirl boots with the spurs this is all sterling tested um it does say sterling right back on the boots right back there 
So everything on here is sterling. It's not quite um, 18 inches on this one. You can add an extender on it if you wanted to. See if I can see if I'll be able to have you guys see this. Um, not going to do it this time, but there's my first one. My next one is going to be a ring. It is sterling. And, and uh, the size is seven and three quarters inch. And I'm going to start this out at 30. Once again, this is tested sterling. And um, this one is uh, lapis. So let me take off that ring where you can see it. This is a lapis ring uh, done in a pretty standard cabochon uh, style. It's got a nice high bezel on it, and the stone is still higher, so it's got a good chunk of lapis on that. A little bit of a split shank, not very much though, like a medium thickness on the band. Um, it is stamped 925 in the back, back there. And the back is uh, closed off on this one. This one is not open. but it's a good chunk of stone right there. Good night, Johnny. Sweet dreams. Oops. Good night, brother John. So there's that. Mm. Okay, so there's that ring. Mm -hmm. And then for my third piece, okay. this is going to be a sterling oh, yeah. ring also. Unless you want to take it back down. And this one's going to start out at $25. Uh, this is a sterling ring. I think, I think this one has like it's... Um, no, it's not marcasite. It's it's like faux marcasite, if you will. And it's this one. It's this band right here. This is all sterling. It is tested. This one has a large thickness on the band. Like I said, it's like a faux marcasite. This is all sterling. Um... This one um, has NE. Uh, I believe this is Navajo made. And um, it does have 925 also. So it has all those markings on the inside of the band. So this is a Navajo ring starting at 25. Like I said, it looks like a faux marcasite. Um, I don't know if it was meant to look that way on purpose or not, but that's kind of like the design of it. But it is Native American made, which is really nice. Nice hunk of silver right here, starting at 25, if anybody's interested. And that is my three. Oh, wow. What you got? Oh, yeah. Some bit. I think you tried to sell them, they pulled out. I don't know. What are they, Marvel? Uh, yeah. Then head over. 
Back to you, Carol. Okay. Okie dokie. Huh? Where's the other one? Oh, it's in there. <laughs> My husband's got me digging. He just brought me up. I don't even know what size they are. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Oh, these are nice. Okay, these look like they've never been used. These are size nine and a half Merrells. And if you know shoes, you know Merrells are very comfortable. And these have the big, um, the big heel and Show Merrells. Oh, <laughs> they look like they've never been used. Even the heel, nothing. They feel like leather. This right here is elastic, so it would stretch to your foot. They're size nine and a half. God, I wish they were a little bit bigger. Oh, that's okay, Sandra. I wish those were Ted's. Oh my God. I know. Aren't they beautiful? Look at them. Oh, we have Skywatch and Sandra in for 12. Look at that shoe. We all know what, well, anybody who knows Merrill's knows what they usually go for. And look at the inside. It looks like it's never even... And what does that say? Merrill foam? No, Mer Merrill Q form. I mean, look at that, the support on the bottom. That's, that's like a heavy plastic. But this here around the edge is material and it's got a little bit of stretch to it. But this is all leather. And they look like they've never been worn. So we have Skywatcher Sandra in for 12. They are si size nine and a half, as it says here. Black Merrill Performance Footwear. Women's size nine and a half US. Gorgeous. You're going to get a good pair of shoes, Sandra. Are they for you? Going once, going twice, final call, five, four, three, two, one, and sold to Skywatcher Sandra. They're beautiful. Good luck with them. Whoop, what happened to my... Enjoy. Well, I hope you hear them in good health. 
thank you. A tiny big will wear thick socks. You, they're just, do you think they're just a little bit big? They might not be. How long do you ladies want to go for? Oh, we're going to put Merrill's next to those. Okay. Yeah, I hope they fit you great. You'll have to let me know. So I have these earrings. Oops. Thank you. All right. I have these dainty little earrings, and I don't think that there's anything any markings yeah it's hard to know I'm I wasn't 11 until I had my foot surgery on both feet where my bunions and and everything else were reduced took the knuckles out of all of my toes because they were all bending so now I take like a size 10. <laughs> it's like, really? A whole size? All right. I have these earrings. They're very pretty, very dainty. They're very light baby blue. And they have... Oh, I can't see it. I thought that... Maybe they don't. Yeah, there, there we go. There's like a, a look of almost like a, a blue cat's eye, but maybe it's just my imagination. But we have Love, <laughs> Love Hollis in for three. <laughs> but yeah, they're just very pretty. They're very dainty. Do you have wicked good slippers for sale? I don't know. Who knows what he's got around here? My camera goes dark every once in a while. Yeah, it's almost like you can see like the cat's eye look. All right, so I'm going to call it. Going once. <coughs> going twice. Final call. And sold to Love Hollis. Thank you very much, Love. I have a bag right here. I can put them in. Um, mom, 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 mom. What else do I want to do? Does anyone take a size six and a half? Size shoe. <sighs> if anyone takes a size six and a half shoe, I have some pretty blue, um, I'm trying to think what their shoes that um, I'll get them. I don't know if anybody they'll fit anybody, but
These are Earth Origins. I'll take the paper out of the shoe. And they're a suede. And they're a six and a half. And they're very pretty suede. They look like they have either very little or no use on them. And they're Earth Originals. And they are a six and a half. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Leather upper, balance, man-made. Six and a half. And they're suede on the outside. Very pretty design. If anyone's uh, size six and a half, up, oh, Dawn's back. <laughs> Dawn's back. It's uh, a new magic trick. <laughs> poof the magic dragon. <laughs> so I have a pair of size six and a half if anybody's interested. The magic woman. Um, I'll say ten dollars. If anybody you knows if anyone that's a six and a half. What one? Oh, she's poofed again. Anyone knows anybody's a six and a I half? Said it's magic woman. Yes, you are. And then I have men's size. Oh, where's the size on this? Oh. What did they say? Um... I had it written down. Uh, these, uh, these I know have never been used because the stickers are still on the bottom. It says size 41. And I believe that 41 is a size eight or eight and a half of men's. They're all suede. I had them on eBay for $40, so I thought, well, let me put them on here for $25 and see if someone's interested. But even the inside is, like, perfectly clean. No wear at all. If you know of anybody who's a size 8.5 men's, these are a great pair of shoes. Try Poshmark. I tried, um, or was it Macari that I tried? And I wasn't happy with them. Why? With um, well, Macari. Shoes, Poshmark is very clothes oriented. Uh huh. So sometimes shoes sell well. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. These are, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, they're handmade in Italy. You're not going to get a good price maybe on here as well, much as, like, maybe there. Yeah, I it figured depends. it wouldn't, but I figured if somebody knows... I mean, price match on... I mean, try to look up comps on... I mean, I'll help you another time on, to, like, comp them on Macari if you want. I mean, on Poshmark. Do you have an account on Posh? No. No, I, I after being on um, Macari, I just wasn't, wasn't it's impressed. It's so easy once things sell. It's like bing, bang, boom. You print a 
like a label and a well but makari you had to wait until they got it they approved it and then you got your money and it's like well that's that's the same oh it is yeah but it's still easy once it sells you just put it in a box and a and send they it. pay like 750 for shipping and it's done you know but they're a nice pair of shoes never been worn you know but all right that's my three that'll be oh excuse me we're going to susie all right i'm going to show you this neck this bracelet it's marcasite and turquoise it's vintage and I'm asking $75 for it. It's very, very weighty. And it's a special rare piece. You could try it on if you want to see it on. Like a demo. But it's marcasite, sterling, and turquoise. It is an Omai, oh isn't it? What size? Um... Seven and a half pearl. It's seven and a half. You can see the class with all the writing. It says 925 and other things. Probably the manufacturer. It is pretty. What do you think, ladies, on the panel? I think it's pretty. It's really pretty, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Nice and sparkly. Yeah, I couldn't resist it. And then I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, okay. But, you know... Pearl's the only one talking right now. Okay, I'll pass on this. You do too, thanks. Now, I'm just going to throw this out there that this was in an antique lot and the way they're made looks very expensive to me. Like it has this like little spring clasp, like little and I did not test them. So I don't know. I, don't know. I should test, shouldn't I? I should. Yeah. Because I said this looks like something, and instead of just saying, "Oh, give me twenty bucks," because it could be gold or something. Can you imagine if these were like rubies and I'm 
and gold and I'm saying, give me 20 back. Julie doesn't look as nice on you as it used to. Oh. We could all we could all say something like that, but if it makes you feel good, it's better than like a cocktail or anything. Makes you feel good. I don't know. I like, I like them. Even just from, even if these are pure, I don't know. I can't believe that these are nothing because they're, they're just not tarnished or anything. Like all the other, you know, how when you look at some of these vintage things, when you get them, they look crappy and they look all tarnished. This doesn't. Anyway, I would sell these for 20 starting big, but we'll see. I'm putting them down, people. This was another thing I got that was one of these that was sterling, but it had diamonds in it. But the diamonds are on the outside. I would take 24. Yeah, I think if something makes you feel good, it's it's nice. Like sometimes I put on something that's jewelry and it just it makes me feel happy. So, that's got to count for something. Whether even if I feel like it looks foolish. Cuz sometimes I wear peace signs and I feel like I look like a silly old hippie, but you know, I just feel good in it, so I'm going to wear it. Or sometimes I wear, like, lots and lots of stone necklaces all at once. I'll just feel like today I want to wear that. I'm selling this sterling and diamond pendant for $20. That's pretty. Thanks. Yeah, I think it's getting late. You think so? We had a good... We had a good night. night's a good night. We had a good night tonight. Right, Dawn? Yes. All right, that was my... Yes, night. every night is a good night. That was my three. Okay, it's Donnie's. Oh, my... My middle so big. All right, I'm guys. So I am... Going to do a choice of, and we're going to start out at $15. And this is alpaca. Um, there's two alpaca bracelets here. And I will measure each one, but I'm going to show you first um, the different styles. Okay. There's two different styles. Uh, this is the first one. And it is the black, um, black uh, enamel, I think, with the mother of pearl inlay right there. And um, in that flower, this is a classic design that, the, um, that they do in the alpaca line. The second one is also a classic design. Uh, this one has the brown background in this one. And this one is smaller now. I am going to measure each of the diameters. Um, the black one is bigger. It's two and a half. And then the brown one 
is like almost two and a quarter. Um, so the black one is just a little bit bigger. And it has the tension clasp on this one, uh, on each of them. So these are alpaca bracelets. How pretty. Yeah, they are really pretty. Um, now these ones, I do want to tell you, this one still has a little bit of the alpaca stamp right there on the back. Most of it has worn off. However, um, this one, the brown one, it's not showing at all. And I wanted to tell you when uh, they stamp the alpaca jewelry, it's usually uh, wore off within no time because of the type of metal it is. It's three different metals. Uh, it's a nickel, nickel alloy metal. Uh, so the stamping wears off rather quick. I just want to point that out. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not alpaca because the stamp is not there. It's very, um, it's very normal that that happens with alpaca jewelry. It, it's just the metal makeup. Okay, so there's that. I just dropped the necklace I'm going to show. There it is. Let me get it. I have a marcasite necklace next. Uh, we are going to start this one out at $28. And uh, this is all sterling. And it is tested sterling and uh, marked. And this is just gorgeous. I love this one. Marcasite uh, drop pendant on this one. It's got the diamond shape marcasite going on. Just really, really nice. The bale has the marcasite on it also. Um, the back of the pendant says 925 and um, I'm going to see. Let me flip it over and I'm going to see if I can Try to show you guys on the magnifier. We'll see if I can do it. it. I'm still trying to get the hang of this. Uh, so it says 925. I'm just not sure. I'm sorry I'm shaking, guys. I'm a little shaky, but uh, it right? is stamped. I don't know why I'm shaky. Just a little bit, like when I was trying to hold it up there. Probably because my arms are out of shape and they need toned up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but any who's uh, it does say Italy 925 on both sides of the connectors. Uh, one side says it Italy and the other side says 925. So this one is starting out at 28. It's a beautiful marcasite necklace, and um, so that's that one. Really nice. Oh, did I? I got it in the back. I'm going to show you one last time, and then I'm going to show something else. Just a really dainty, really nice, nice uh, necklace there. Okay, so there's that one. Let me put it up. And then I've got this one. Now, this one is not sterling. However, it is a brand new necklace. And I'm not sure, but possible amber on this one. This one is going to start out at $15. And this is a great, great deal. Uh, take a look at this one, guys. Uh, like I said, this very well and more than likely could be Baltic Amber, but everything else is not sterling. I want to point that out. Uh, this has a nice, uh, like, serpentine chain. Um, 
Now, oddly enough, this is stamped 925 on the back of the pendant. And I believe, yeah, it's stamped 925 also on the little razor blade. However, I tested it twice. It is not sterling. I want to make that clear. This does happen time to time. You do get, um, you know, stuff that's marked 925 and, you know, it's not. Yes, uh, Sandra, we're praying for you. And um, everything will uh, be just fine, Sandra. And then we will definitely uh, see you back. We'll be praying your way through. So there's that one. And no. okay, so there's that, that, and then I have another. Uh, was that that was two, right? I don't know, you know, I don't know. <laughs> One, three. No, that was my third one. We was are, that? Yep. That was number three. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okie dokie. All right. I have... All right, I have a Club Echo scarf. I don't know if it's silk. It's in excellent condition. Let me find where it says Club Echo. There it is, Club 7 Echo. And last night I was asking 12. Tonight I'll ask 10. It's a very, very pretty scarf. Nowadays you can do a lot of things with scarves. You know, you can dress them up. You can put a scarf pin you can do a lot of things. You can twist them around. Anything. <laughs> Actually, online there's um, a video that shows you a whole lot of different ways that you can what you can do with scarves to get them to look differently on you. So I'm asking ten dollars for this because I believe it could be silk. And it is very pretty with the blue and the green and the roses and the cream color. Any interest at all? Are you belly dancing again, Sandra? <laughs> but it is a royal blue and it has all those pretty colors in it. And it is a Club 7 Echo. <clears throat> okay. And I have... We have Skywatcher Sandra in for 10. It's yours, girlfriend. Thank you very much.
Okay. And I have a bin here for you. <laughs> I'll have to put it in your bin. I got really organized. I was so excited. <laughs> Do I like the mats? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like any sports, really. I have a brass buckle. And it says golf. It's got the golf club and the ball. And it has the, the piece you put the leather through and then the peg that you put through the leather hole. It says solid brass. Taiwan, Republic of China. And it says 4222 on it. And I'm asking $8. Or she'd probably have to shine it up and put brass cleaner on it and and then for my third thing I have all right let's see I have an ornament. I had $12 on it. I'm going to ask for 10. It's um, Orifors 1997. It comes in this box with the sponge. And then it comes in the felt bag that says Orifors Sweden. It is a glass heart. It is actually a double heart. If you see, there's one heart and then there's the outer one. 1997, it comes on a um, bright red ribbon. And it would look great on anybody's tree. 1997 and it's etched is it etched in there no i think it's underneath it because i don't feel it any interest at all oh That's sweet. You complete me. Who's who completes you? That's so nice. Um, I think it's um Susie's. Do you want? Oh, we have. Love Hollis is saying eight. Eight for what, Love Hollis? The two hearts say that. Oh, that you complete me. Oh, I get it now. Oh, Love Hollis? You're in for 10. Thank you, Love Hollis. I'll change that two to a zero and put your name on it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much. I'm not even going to count that one down. <laughs> Where did I just put your stuff? I've got your stuff in a bag. By itself too. I've been trying to keep every everything separate. I've got bins and boxes on a shelving unit over here. I put up 
and I'm keeping everything together. So when I want to invoice, I just pull it down, put it on the invoice, weigh it up, tell tell you what shipping is, send the invoice out, and when you pay it, I just and it, when you when you pay it, it's all boxed and ready to go. All I do is put the tag on it. I'm so proud of myself. Um. All right, it's Susie's turn. Um, do you want this to be our last round? Sure. Okay. I have a mad hat that's mint, like it's new without tags. And I'm I'm willing to sell it for seven dollars. It has the Velcro back. And has a hologram sticker. But do you know a Mets fan? I do. Lives in Georgia. <laughs> but I was just wondering if anybody was a Mets fan here. Did I even say how much I wanted? I know I said something already, but I don't even remember what I said. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Tell it's you, sweet. Sandra's sweet. Everybody is sweet. I love everybody who comes in this room. I love everybody Sandra. who sells with me. I know, I should put it up. I forgot how to write it again. I have a new iPad now, so. You do. To... Oh, it, she can put it up for me. Ginger, Ginger Rose. Rose 321 at Yahoo? A AOL. Oh, AOL? Okay. Yes. You said seven on the hat. Okay, seven. I said seven for this Mets hat. Awesome Mets hat for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. So going once? Is it, well, I don't know. Nobody wants it. You can you can go all you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still on Lego Man. We're getting ready to it close can go all you want. He's here. What does he want? <laughs> no, I meant what do you want to buy, Lego Man? How about an he, antique? He just wants to see what's going on. He wants to see? I have an egg. A stone egg. I, I'm going to die with these stone eggs. I know it. They're going to be all around me. She's like, you should have them all. In. I'll put them in a basket. That's what I'll do. I'll have an egg basket. With my and then egg. sell the whole basket. I don't know. Maybe. I'm looking around, ladies. I'm getting tired here. Hello, Let's hello. See. Lego My Man exploding. Lego Man has an auction on Wednesday with his mom at seven PM Eastern Standard Time. If I have that correct. Yeah. So check him out. Him and his mom. Vintage Ivy. Oh, okay. Exploding kittens. Sandra, do you need a game? Exploding kittens. A card game. It's like Uno, but with kittens that explode. Starting bid? Five dollars. Five dollars. He it's said yes. Fifteen dollars on the internet. Yes to what, Brandon? Seven seven o'clock. Okay. Eastern Standard. Thank you. I was just going to ask you to put your link in. Yes, advertise. Love Uno. So for five dollars, this game is like Uno. Sanders is like five. Woohoo! Woo oh yeah. Don't say cool. that when Dawn's got her cat right there on the desk. <laughs> That's not going to explode because I said it. Don't listen, cat. I'm going to say going once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going twice. He's coming up right. and giving some kisses. 
Final call and sold. Thank you. All right. You won bingo today. Awesome. Yay. Um, All right. Okay. I might. I could. Seeing that you and I are so hot tonight, Love Hollis. <laughs> what does Love Hollis want? What do you want, oh, Love Hollis? She just Hollis? wants to add on to the bag from you because you have. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's going to take me all day to. Love Hollis. Love. Every time I think of love, I think of angels because she loves angels, right? Yes, she does. Congratulations. Loves angels. And I keep thinking, where did I put my angels? Um, I have a bless your home angel. I know I probably already showed this, but how about a dollar? <laughs> a dollar. I'm giving them cheap. Oh, she go to bed. I probably already showed this, but you know. Oh, I did already show this. Did you show it? Another day, but not today. Another day, but not tonight. Oh, it has a corduroy dress. That's cute. It's corduroy. You have a special surprise coming, you said? I do. No, no, he said he does. He has a very special I'm not surprise. Telling anyone. Maybe he made a call. Brandon, you getting married? <laughs> All right. I'll put this down. Nobody's bidding. Does anybody want to buy like a whole bunch of silver? <laughs> That's this just is over two All ounces by itself. of silver. I didn't even have my hand on the keys. Two ounces. I measured. I weighed it. It's a lot. Tell him, Love Hollis. Give him hell. So why say anything at all if you're not going to tell us? <laughs> all of a sudden, my sound went away again. Did it? You can't hear me? Bummer. Oh, well, but I don't really have to hear you. You can't hear us, Susie? I can hear you. You sound great. Carol you would. You can't hear me? Yeah, you sound kind of Muffled? Bad. That could that could be a... This is two ounces of silver, sterling silver, that has been hand wrought into a necklace. And it's sterling and it's marked. And it, it's not really shined up great, but it's... I forgot the name of these things. Um, But... Just the melt value of this is over $80. The melt, like I could take it to somebody and have them melt it for scrap. So I would want more than $80. So if anybody's willing to give me more than $80, I will sell this. If anybody really wants it. So make an offer. Isn't it kind of cool, though? Yeah, it is. Handmade. Artisan. That's cool, Brandon. Oh, maybe they're going to open up um, a uh, antique kind of thing. Antique mall? Maybe. Maybe they're getting a space here as mom. That'd be cool. Yeah. A hammered choker. There you go. That would be cool. That's what you call that. A hammered choker. Mm-hmm. 
It's about buying and selling business. I think it's a kind of cool thing that Johnny has that aspect too, that he can have like stuff sitting and make money like that too. Oh yeah. Like, can you imagine if I can have stuff somewhere, make it, I mean, I used to bring stuff on consignment to jewelry stores, but one of my stores went out of business and had my stuff. So <laughs> it wasn't good. You always run that risk. And then once I got my stuff back, once I didn't, so. You have two already? You have two booths already? Oh, yeah. He's quite the little businessman. Oh, never mind then. Never mind. All right. All right. I'm, I'm kind of done. I mean, I have a brooch. If anybody's interested in a $2 brooch, let me know. $2. Two. All right. I'm digging up more stuff. Would it be all right if I go have my salad and? Of course, I'm, I'm very uptight. No, no offense to anybody. I'll I'll go and listen to you on this, but I'm very uptight, Sandra. I know why. You know why. So it's Dawn's turn. Hi, Dawn. Is it? Yeah, it's Dawn's turn. That would be nice if he's graduating early. Very excited to hear. Okay, guys, I have, uh, this one is a vintage piece. It is a candy dispenser, oh. and it is a Star Wars candy it's dispenser. Cool. Uh, this is older. It has the place right there, I guess, for the um, battery. Um, but anyhow, this one is starting out at 13 for any Star Wars lovers out there. I thought this was pretty cool. Candy dispenser. Wouldn't all the kids in your life want a Star Wars candy dispenser? I would think so. Yeah. I'm going to measure this one. This one um, is a bigger piece here. It's about nine inches tall. So it's a good size one. You could fit quite a bit of candy in there, I, I'm sure. Here's the back of it. And um, the bottom it says gallery made in china um has a number copyright lfl so it's got that down there and my next one is going to start out at eight this is a decorative plate it says, show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. That's a Bible verse. And it's got a house with a cobblestone uh, pathway to it with some trees along the path. And this one is made by MWW Market Dishwasher and Microwave Safe made in China. So if you wanted to use it as a regular plate, you could. So it's versatile, um, either decorative or uh, you could actually use it. So totally up to you. Starting at eight. What's she yelling at? Okay, and then for my last one, this is going to be a set of three, and I'm going to start these at 
ten dollars. This is this is for all three guys. This is a lot. Okay. And they are face mask. And uh, these are for a small adult or child uh, size. And we have the uh, gray, the red, and the black mask. And like I said, these are uh, small adult um, to child size. They're, they're on a smaller scale. All just plain colors. These are new. They're just out of the package is all. But they are new. And it's for all three guys, $10. Uh, so all three masks. They have the elastic band here on all of them. Like I said, uh, a small adult, small headed adult could wear these or a child. So it's totally, you know, either or on that one. All three colors, red, gray, and black. Handmade, there's no tag, it looks handmade, I guess. And so that is my three. Uh -huh. So if anybody changes their mind, they can always contact Dawn. All right. I have this necklace. It's very pretty. It has a huge lobster claw. This is the back of it. And I'm going to say starting bid 10. And that's what it would look like. So we have Love Hollis in at 10. <clears throat> Do we hear 11? If not, I'm going to say going once, going twice, last call. Isn't it beautiful? And sold to Love Hollis for 10. I love it because it's just, I don't know, it's got like elegance. I, I would probably want to wear it like this, but <laughs> like a tiara. <laughs> but then again, I'm nuts anyways. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, thank you, love. All right, I have this one. Starting bid $5. It's got all these charms. These are seed beads that are in between. And these are all of the... I don't know. Does that give you like an Egyptian or... or what kind of a look does that give you? It's hard to say. Um, yeah, that's different. Yeah. Oh, we have Love Hollis in at five. <laughs> I'm going to give her a private showing. <laughs> yeah, it's just very different. And it, it has like the aqua colors to it. <laughs> very different. Um...
what did I say? Ten, uh, ten on that. And five on this one. All right, so I'm going to say, hey, seeing no other bids, going once, going twice, last call, five, four, three, two, one, and sold to Love Hollis, my last item, and then I'm going to have a drawing, a giveaway. <clears throat> And I have this very pretty <clears throat> it looks vintage because of the back. It's a spring clasp, but it's a blue and it has painted rose in the middle. Thank you, Love Hollis. If there's any no interest, that's okay. Yes, a private show. <laughs> and love is in it five. Love is in the air. <laughs> it's so dainty though. I, I I just love the the painting. Come on, turn this way. Nope, turn this way. There we go. Just the painting on it. So we have loving it five. <laughs> I'm going to say going once, going twice, last call, five, four, three, two, one, and sold to Love Hollis for five dollars. All right, I'll put those three in separate bags and um Dawn, how do you do your um you do your contests by asking questions of things that happen in different states and they have to guess the state or what? Oh, that's the laughable the, the No, what? that's the laughable law. Um it's called laughable laws. Yep. And it's from the game Balderdash. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a category in that game. And there's silly laws that actually are real. Or either they used to be laws, they are no longer, or they still are. So how do you run it? You, you say what the law is? I give, I give uh, you the subject matter. Uh, so it could be one of the United States, which mm. is part of the answer, like part of the law. And then after everybody puts in their answer, then I read you the law that has the correct answer. And whoever guesses it first wins. Hmm. And sometimes it could be a state. Sometimes I ask you for an animal or I might ask you for an adjective or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or I could ask you for an insect or, you know, it just depends on, you know, what it says in the law. I'll take one word out of that law and have you guys guess. Huh. That sounds interesting. Do you have a book there that tells you the, the answers? It, I have a little card and it oh. gives me the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Susie's got yeah. monkeys. <laughs> oh, you're muted. Yeah, I'm just. Afraid. Do you see me feeding the dog salad? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> I'm feeding them my salad <laughs> that I don't want. To <laughs> um, they only want it. Because they think it's something good. 
get out of here. I'm trying to think how we can do this because I usually do the numbers or I think a couple of times I did uh, a state a state That's that had a, a stupid over. law and they had to pick what state it was. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. All right. Let's see. Um, what do they call it? Like silly state laws or? Um, yeah, they, they might call it that when you Google it. Yeah. Um, on the game, they call it laughable laws. Oh, laughable laws. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, some of them are silly. Aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Don't cry. All right. I'm going to ask you to tell me the state. And the first person to get it right will win. So the, the, the laughable law is bingo games cannot last more than five hours in what state? So type in your answers. Bingo games cannot last more than five hours in this state. I have a guess. Well, write it in. And no Googling. <laughs> yeah, no Googling. Yeah, that's, yeah, because yeah, it ruins it for everybody. So just keep throwing some answers in there. We'll see who gets the first one, who can get it right. Just keep answering. Let's see. <laughs> Somebody's bound to get it. There's only 50. <laughs> it's true. I don't want to feed you tomatoes. Oh, Oregon was said already. No. There was a piece of deli meat on my salad, and that's why they followed me up here. Ah. Oh, piece of cheese and a piece of ham. That's what they wanted. Keep, keep going, ladies. Keep going. Nobody's guessed it yet. Keep guessing, Love Hollis. Yeah, Come she on, wants to give it to you. Keep guessing. Just keep guessing states. Just keep guessing states. We're getting close there. Hey, Becky. Welcome. We're getting close. What did I miss that I'm guessing a state? Bingo games cannot last more than five hours in this state. 
the state of confusion. Yeah. Oh, how about your state? I couldn't do it that easy. <laughs> no, no. Oh, this is kind of fun the way they got to keep guessing. Or do I, at some point, I say, we were close at one point there. You were only a state away. Oh, boy. But you don't know which one it was. Right. <laughs> I'm evil. That's true. We didn't know which state it was when you said, oh, you were close. Yep. Yep. It could be any one of the states. Uh -huh. We're getting there. We're close. Oh, I'm, this is torturous. <laughs> For me or you? <laughs> the, I, you know, I hate to say whoever was the closest because if the state has borders of a few different ones. Yeah, then that really can't. No. So they really have to say the the exact state. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Part of my name is in it. Ah. Now they're thinking, okay, what says Carol? Yep, Susie Woozy got it. All right. <laughs> oh, God, that was painful. It was. All right. Give one okay. to Sandra. Huh? It was. Sandra. Sandra had South Carolina. I was going to say, give it to Sandra because she's going for an operation tomorrow. Oh, is she? Oh, yeah. Well, okay, I'm going to send it to Sandra. It's 25 Christmas okay. favorites. It's got all of these songs on it. Let it snow. Oh, Silver awesome. Bells. Silver bells. All right. Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, Green Sleeves. Congratulations, March Sandra. Congratulations. I'm going to send that to you per request of Susie. All right, cool. Oh, a bile duct surgery? Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Is it blocked? Must be. Ew. No, it, thank you for saying congrats to me, but I, I want Sandra to have it because she's having a procedure. And I think I just saw a message to you, Dawn, from Sandra earlier, just about your daughter's order? Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I told her. Yeah, I told her that was fine. Yep. That's fine, Sandra. Is, I mean, is you're your having daughter surgery. Staying with you? uh, is your daughter No, with you? she went back home. Okay. No, she went back home. Oh, the stent's coming out. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, my dear. I've had two stents. And thank you, Carol. Thank, thank you. Carol. you. Thank you. That was fun. Thank you, everyone, for coming in. As I always say, be safe, 
be healthy, be happy, be positive, but not with COVID. There you go. No COVID. And no positive tests. We want no positive tests. Wash your hands. <laughs> Put sanitizer on a lot, especially if you're on cam and you're your nose. And <laughs> you, know, you, you know, you don't realize, you know, you're like this. Oh, you know, or like this. Here's my doggy Trixie. You don't think about touching the jewelry. It's like, I never Aww. think about it. You know? So somebody got me in the habit of when I do that, then I, or just periodically throughout the night because of the jewelry, you don't know, you know, the things. Right. You right. But thank you everyone for coming in. Um, lots of blessings and prayers for you. Skywatcher Sandra for tomorrow for your surgery. Uh, did I see second act in here? I think I just saw second act thrifter. Hello. Hello. Welcome. As we're saying goodbye. Yep. She got North Carolina too. Um, I am on tomorrow night with none other than Miss Martha, Autumn Grace and Dawn on Autumn Grace's channel. And Wednesday, we still on for Wednesday, Dawn? Does she hear me? Dawn, you hear me? Yep, still on for Wednesday. Wednesday, yep. yep. Thursday, Thursday, I have Lost Raider yep. and Carla yep. Rybicki. And then I'm off for two days, maybe. And then back on with Debbie, Max, and Brandon. But thank you, everyone. Have a good night, a safe night. Sleep well. And thank we you for having me on. I appreciate it. And group hugs. Dawn. Group hugs. Is she unlaxed? I don't know. <laughs> she must be lagging. <laughs> I am lagging. I think you are. Because <laughs> you're like 10 seconds behind us. <laughs> Good night, everyone. And thank you so much for coming in and helping me and Dawn and Susie to make our night. And yes, love to all, like Johnny says. <laughs> God bless everyone and have a safe night. Thank you. Thanks a lot.